Uh. Yeah, is, uh, there we go. The freestyle <laughs> by Corey Holcomb and this bitch. Because <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. Ever since I saw the little hoe, niggas knocking on my motherfucking door. <laughs> is Trina there? Is she coming out? I say, hey, put that thing in that bitch's mouth. Because I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> Going in my refrigerator. Every nigga that nut in her, somehow they hate her. Oh. Her two kids that she kept because she thought them dudes was going to give her fuck. <laughs> but then they ducked out on her ass. <laughs> fuck that silly slut. Even though that bitch do got a big ass butt. But I won't fuck her though. Because it's your daughter. But get the daughter out of my face before the slaughter. I don't like your daughter, bitch. Oh, I told you he has some shit. We on, nigga? Where are? And you, they said they didn't like you chomping on the mic, some folks. But look, go for it. Corey said, "F it." Nigga, I was starving, man. That's right. You gotta make it happen when you can. At least we're here. We're you know close on time, right? With Somebody say, Darlene got body, son. Oh, bless your heart. That's no, not. It's all right. You can't even see her right now. She got on a um a little sundress, a foot cast. I'm just fucking with y'all. What mean. up, fifty one fifty nation? Over 2 million shots fired. Cut, 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 cut. Pressing the 5150 button. Oh, <laughs> shit. Is, is that something on the dough? Uh-oh. It's a notification. We notification. I got to pay my motherfucking rent. <laughs> on the dough, rent. nigga. <laughs> we got a rent notification on the dough. 5150 going to be outside playing it but, off like we're doing night. outdoor shows. But look, but that would be cool, too, though. It is summer. We should go back to that park nigga area. said outdoor shows. What park would you suggest? <laughs> uh... The what part we play that y'all basketball? Play? Yeah, no. I don't know. <laughs> Bobby will be out there selling water and shit. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but look I'm how nice shit. they do it. If it is a notice, they do it pretty nice. You know, a lot of times they just shove it under the door. I got to pay the right. rent. Okay. So right. I'll get it to them. Hilarious. How about you just busy? There you go. Look, I pay the rent up for two months Where? or three months, and he get mad when I do that. It just dropped? Oh, he does? No. Have you ever heard of some shit okay, like that? Uh -uh. Right, when okay. you pay it in advance? Uh, they'll believe me. Look, off air. They already saw. It's okay. We all there? Right now, but the, the, the YouTube, they'll be able to keep seeing everything, yeah. Well, fuck this pussy ass you stream bullshit Chris mm -hmm. thought of. <laughs> you know what? I ain't gonna See, put I'm it all. Oh, my Chris, I love it. You silly. Chris, you thought of all this shit. <laughs> all the fucked up shit going, Chris. <laughs> what y'all do this weekend, man? Man, 4th of July. That shit was cool. Just chilling with the family, barbecuing, talking shit. There you go. I like you that. You know, you know, when the family get together, everybody want to bring up the past shit you did when you was a fucked up kid, that kind of shit. But mm -hmm. it was fun. I was out there in Chicago at this little chosen few picnic in the park. Now, listen, these motherfuckers rent out the park, and they used to charge $20 to get in. But now they done went up to $35 minimum. So what? they starting to lose their crowd. Really? Because yeah, motherfuckers that's a lot be in this park every day. And this is, and I feel like, you want $35 to come mm -hmm. to the park? Come to on, the park. Man. Chosen few, y'all fucking up, Joe. Yeah, that's being a little man. greedy right there. Let people yeah. have a good time. After a while, Playing people going to be like, fuck that shit. Wait, though, and do they still have to bring their own food in, like their own barbecue and cook yeah, it there? You see? Just, that's just a mission in yeah. the park. I heard that, yeah. Chris, they I called you an AOL-ass nigga. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he Somebody ain't. say, damn Acer PC. Oh, damn. damn. That's, that's <laughs> that cheap-ass computer? Yep. That's like a like Windows or whatever, yeah. Well. Microsoft. But this isn't. We're not. Yeah, they just making jokes. So are we back or any, no? We, any, it don't no. matter. Fuck. Yeah, them. we're they still. They're gonna the still show. see the. Yeah, they're gonna still see it on. Oh, YouTube. They'll, they'll be, they'll yeah. be popped back up in a minute. Yeah. Anybody do no good. crazy shit they want to talk about and be honest about? Everybody just playing a conservative. No, I didn't do anything crazy. What have you done? You uh -oh. did something. He did. I saw photos. See, he so always sets shit up like that when he did something. Man, I had to fuck you, do Shit out of this bitch in the park. What happened? I couldn't walk through the park. And I'm not mad at nobody. Because motherfuckers be like that. Oh, it's Corey. Let's take a picture. So they don't realize that about the 20th picture. You're like, now look, shit. I'm sick of <laughs> taking pictures with motherfuckers. You know. I want to walk through the park and look at the... The fireworks, goddammit. Yeah, okay, fireworks. We'll go with that. Oh, well, what else uh -huh. is going on in the park, nigga, other than fireworks? So this girl... <laughs> uh-huh, shorty shorts. ...has to take this picture, right? 
Let my friend take a picture with you. So I took the picture with her friend. Right. And she said, after this, I want to do a little interview. And I Uh-oh. said, babe. She got I'm a podcast. Trying to walk through the park. She you trying know. to come up, man. You're a celebrity. Just let me walk through the park. This <laughs> bitch said, oh, I remember when you wasn't shit. When oh, you was in that- Chicago trying to get on. Oh. Okay, well, okay. keep that like, thought. Keep I'm that Shots fired. Right. Yeah, okay. I'm going, like, and? I used to be a motherfucking who trying to get it. Uh, You're right, funny. bitch, and I'm proud right. of my struggle <laughs> as I moved up. But check this shit out right here, you bitch. You really ain't getting no... <laughs> <laughs> bitch gave me the green light. I felt so much better after I checked this bitch. What'd you say? Uh-oh. You know the lousy bitch shit. She was about 30 bitches in about, about a minute and a half. Was she by herself? In under 90 seconds. She was with the other girl. The other girl was embarrassed. I bet she was. Got talking shit because I wouldn't do what she want me to do, which is what happens most of the time when you don't do what people want them to do. Wow. Mm-hmm. They talk mm-hmm. shit to you. Mm-hmm. So whoever you are, bitch, if you ever see this, the bitch with the fake Gucci hat and the fake Gucci purse. Oh, my <laughs> God. Not a hat and a purse. If you really look at it, it wasn't a G. It was a C. This bitch had on a Gucci purse. <laughs> And the little ass camera talk about you finna do an interview, uh, bitch. Die slow. So, you did you leave the park after this, or did no, you go somewhere I, and just? I'm gonna leave the park for ain't no bitch about to run me out the park. <laughs> did you I'm see her again? Shit. Did she like dip? She took off. No, she was still hanging around in the back in this little area. They had a little VIP area, so I was able to motherfucking cool out for a second. Mm-hmm. Right. But niggas are niggas are worse than women. Mm-hmm. So what, do you, what do you mean? Say so something. it was a dude who wanted to take a picture, and I'm down to take pictures. But I was like, oh, okay. I just sat down, homie. Give me, give me five minutes, and then that nigga. So you know that that nigga, he didn't like that. Oh, right. So all of a sudden, I'm Hollywood. Oh, uh huh. How the fuck do you get in trouble when you don't do what people say so fast? I'm like, god damn. So because I don't be with no security. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I'm just a nigga sitting in the park. Right, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So for all them confrontations I had on Saturday, <laughs> I just wanted to say, fuck you, motherfucker. And, That's what you... <laughs> and wait, though, and how do people figure... Because I know they watching this shit. Right, but how do fi- people figure on <laughs> on going off like that at that very second? And they do they what do they really think they can get out of that? So in other words, did anybody ever at least go, okay, Corey, I'm going to be right here. Wait, did, was anybody cool with it? Or you just had... Most it's so, of the it's such times, a trip. Most of the times, it's a bad reaction. That's so most damn of the times sad. It's that's a bad reaction. Most of the times, it's a bad reaction. See, if you don't do what people say. That's wow. what I'm saying. Etiquette is not something that we know. And right. Especially as a race. Right. I was in the uh, pizza place, and this young girl ran up on me while I was eating. I was like, she was like, hey, can I take a picture with you? And I said, oh, okay, sweetheart. Just let me finish eating. Yeah, so and she was, cool. She looked shocked, like. Oh, oh my god like did i fuck up and i was like it's cool i take a picture with because she looked like she was young mm-hmm. like about 12 or 13 couldn't find out she was visiting from albuquerque new mexico and she mm-hmm. had never seen no city shit before mm-hmm. so that's why i was glad to take a picture with her anyway you know what right, i'm saying because right. she was a young girl but i'm saying grown motherfuckers will walk mm. up to your table hey nigga get up let me <laughs> Let me take a picture with you. Hey, y'all, come over here. We about to get a picture with this hey, nigga. Get up. get up from eating your pizza with your motherfucking people or and take whole, this hey, picture. Oh, come here. You right. Come here. You're like, what the hell? Right. Come here. People will do that to you. Yeah. They, yes, will they will do that. Hey, like come here, nigga. And I go like this. You know what I do? I do like this. Right. Like, <laughs> like are you? Are you I look know back? I hope you're pointing. Yeah, I go. Right. Huh? Hey, nigga, I made I you famous. Get over here. Right. Get over here, nigga. Oh, niggas will pull that card. Oh. Fuck, I won't support your ass no more. You be like, wow, my nigga. <laughs> my nigga, I'm not acting funny with you. Damn. Don't take it personally because I do that. Right. It's like the only thing is, nigga, I just took 30 pictures. Right. And I think people see me by myself. Right. So they take advantage of that because there's a lot of niggas be with an entourage, security, yeah. and all that shit. Yeah. And then they blame just, it on them. Right. I feel weird running with a whole bunch of niggas, but I might have to. I mm. never imagined I had to walk down the street with some niggas. I think I'd have got there. Might. and Mo D share a lot of the same sensibilities. Over it's, the weekend, mm-hmm. I went, Mo was out here. And he called me. He, he, was, he was in a concert with Black Street, Troop. Tony, Tony, Tony. The one at the Greek? The one at the Greek. Mm-hmm. He called me right after the uh, the Voice of Reason show. I, I went over there to check out the show. That motherfucker and you, 
the same thing. He don't like he don't like it. Like he feel like sometimes people will cross that line. You might be somewhere kicking it with your people, eating, and they just cross that line because they see you and they approach you. Well, and he said sometimes it's cool, but then sometimes there's that obnoxious motherfucker. Yeah, it's that, like that it's, it's odd to me to tell people no, I can't take a picture with you. Right. Just because I like to be approachable. Right. But a nigga. If you catch me at a time where I don't right. take a picture, it's, it's only because it's I time. probably took yeah. 30 before I saw you. So when I was the riding my bike, is, I was riding my bike in the park. Right. Six people was really like, stop, stop. You know what I mean? You know, when they see me, they be like, hey, Corey, come, uh-huh. come here, come here, stop. I'm like, I can't keep stopping. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what the fuck did I do? <laughs> I got to burn this 7,000 calories. Right. <laughs> oh, you know, nowadays, oh, you can use the headphones. And I am embarrassed to say this. That's why I'm talking about it because no, it's, it's, all right. it's new to me. I'm like, man, I done got to the point where I can't even see what my people want when they wave me down. Right, right. But I promise you, it's not because I'm acting funny. Right, and I just right. want to say that. I, I don't act funny with niggas. I'm, right. I'm the type of motherfucker. It's just mother- respect factors, timing, and everything. People need to recognize. That's yeah, all. Yeah, I feel weird ignoring a nigga when he's saying, hey, and I'll be, because I'm cool with, hey, hey. but when does all that stop? I'm like, what nigga, the- I don't know you. Yeah, I got some exactly. money in my pocket, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> this shit could go bad. I done seen some treacherous shit when niggas say, come here. Where I'm from, oh, yeah. that's punk that's, of the nigga. That is, yeah. That's hey, man, go. come here. When you right come here. over there. Uh-huh. Anything could go down. Uh-huh. Yeah, what you up? follow it rules. What up? Hold up. That's, I'm going to introduce you in a minute. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Little nigga. That's my little cousin, oh, y'all. That's he little, with his guy and shit. We're going to okay. introduce your little ass, nigga. <laughs> Funny. Anyway, well, yeah. we, we so, gonna take a break and get him in here. What we gonna do? No, we ain't gonna take no break yet. We about to let Darlene mm. go in. Uh, I'll go in, yeah. But I didn't do too much. I just went oh, to man. I went to a day party at the Bonaventure Hotel. Talk, I had a good time. Bullshit. You went to a day party? You my, been my a buddies. lot of day parties. Right? I love those. Those are the bomb. By the time you're done at like eight or nine p.m., you go eat and you're at home, ready to go back to bed at eleven o'clock. They call them day parties. That's um. Cause that's, it's held in the daytime. That's ARP parties. That's you know what, what they really are. <laughs> For old motherfuckers who well, can't hang at night. Bum- well, it's the it's the way to do it. I've, I've been hooked for like it's a year. It's the bomb old chick party. Right. Don't nobody be dancing in there. They just uh, be looking uh, no. around holding no, they actually red wine no. glasses well, you got and it, shit. You, you got it twisted all the way around. Sound funny, but it's the young parties you go to that they don't dance. They just stand there and they kind of look at each other and the girls kind of shake their butt. The older folks dance. That's the opposite. Darlene say that shit because she in shape. Darlene right. be because dancing. Dance. Right, I'll right, dance. I'll right. dance if nobody else is dancing. So. Darlene gets it in. And fat, I do. And fat old hoes be over there pointing at her like, look at her. <laughs> what you think so she good. doing? You mean, that old, look, you mean older? That little whippersnapper that ain't even half her age. Oh. We know them old hoes be hating you on her. Darlene do be. Mm. I did, I did used you to do go to get the, the dynasty, young ones, though. Don't I used you? to go to the dynasty. It was fun. Them yeah. old hoes in the wheelchairs, boy, they hate to see you dance. Uh, there was nobody in wheelchairs, but uh, somebody make a picture of them old hoes looking at Darlene dancing with a young motherfucker. Alex King, oh, you want Alex King to make another drawing? Oh, okay. Backing the nigga all the way into the wall. Hell yeah! <laughs> so listen, them old hoes be Darlene age. They in wheelchairs with the breathing machine. No, they're not at this. Who the point. fuck she thinks she is? I hope mm-hmm. to goodness I'm not in the black on wood, boy. No, nah, you in good shape. You ain't uh, gonna fall off till you about ninety something. Um, I don't know. My grandma was 92. She went hard all the way. Yeah. 92, dancing. And she used to work out like you? No. And she had eight kids. No. She, she, she had eight kids. Eight kids. All right. Damn. Eight kids. Yep. She got it in. Yeah, she did. That was Live a full life. Sure did. Eight kids. That is a full. We just celebrated her birthday. Motherfucking life. Yeah, 92. Yes, she was dancing. Yeah, 92. Yeah, we she was dancing kids. at her party when she was yep. 92? Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. I know yeah. I ain't gonna be dancing when I'm 92. Why not? What you gonna do? I'm gonna be around this motherfucker like I shouldn't have fucked with that orange chicken when I was 50. <laughs> 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 that orange chicken got me in this wheelchair. This shit is still with me. <laughs> I gotta chicken. pay these little hoes to ride this dick in this chair. <laughs> Oh my God. The handles go down. Oh my. Oh, stop it. Like, oh my God. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to have a custom made one, huh? Wow. You got Damn. something about that tiger nigga? I heard about that. Oh, tiger. yes. I actually hey, do. So, what? what is this segment called, Corey? What? 
what she what? about to do. Oh. This is loose talk about bullshit. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Now I do have something it's about, to be about loose that. Loose than a motherfucker. <laughs> I'm gonna go into that in a minute, but the but the hot thing right now, of course, is and I know you heard about your boy Bill Cosby, right? They finally were able. The uh, Associated Press had been really trying to get um, this uh, old uh, test testifying when he testified in court in 2005. The case was closed and it was locked up, right? And, and a couple people knew. They said, we want to see what was in that. Man, they got the documents and obtained Monday. And sure enough, they listened to it and they watched it. And he admits. And he paid this person off, the person he was, uh, that was working at that college he was at. Anyway, he, it, he testified under oath uh, at Temple University, the person that he gave these quaaludes to. So they did ask him. What they, is a quaalude, darling? Uh, well, it's a drug. It's an, so it, 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 but it, uh, the person pretty much knocks out, right? Can I buy them where? But they're illegal. <laughs> they're illegal. So you're not supposed to be having them. So you can't them. give a bitch a quaalude legally. He claims he testified that he gave her only three half pills of Benadryl. Yeah, right. That'll work. And some wine. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> right. And yeah. Anyway, he said that he settled uh, back in 2000. Ended up, it ended up. This end- was out. Yeah. Yeah. It ended up ending in 2006 that he settled uh, his sexual abuse lawsuit for an undisclosed term in 2006. His lawyer in the Philadelphia case uh, has still has not returned uh, media's calls. Um, and it says, of course, now, even though the statute of limitations have passed so that nobody, n- none of those women, 48 total so far. And None probably of, counting. Probably counting can their cases can't they're, they're they're not valid. I heard that Benadryl will make a hoe sleep all the way through the motherfucking thing. <laughs> through That's what, what thing? I heard. The thing. Uh, allegedly, the thing? Whatever don't you given, do. Don't, be, don't, be, don't, be, don't, be, don't 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 do that and say Corey told you that that, that you No, I do not if you mm-hmm. give a bitch Benadryl, you on some bullshit. But right. if you do give a bitch Benadryl, I heard the bitch will be cooperative. It's just she'll be tired. Mm-hmm. Was Bill Cosby Darren Sharper's mentor? Yes, he was. Ooh. Darren Sharper. Darren Sharper studied the Cosby catalog of um, <laughs> the Cosby well, catalog. Well, I, I, Benadryl I, drops. I got some lines from the uh, from the documents. So wow. they said that when they were listening to it, that the. Uh, District attorney, when he at, when she asked uh, Cosby, and this is back then, 2005, when you got the quaaludes, was it in your mind that you were going to use these quaaludes for young women that you wanted to have sex with? And Bill Cosby replied, yes. Wow. But he has some old hoes, too. Yeah. No, but this happens to be this particular case. That's damning. That's very, really very, damning. Very, very, dude. Very. Now, remember when all this was going on. How he had some people supporting him, right? And one of them, bless her heart, Jill Scott, big fan of hers. Uh, anyway, so now they're emerging, of course, with these new, uh, the exposing of what happened in court that she year. retracted all her shit. She pretty yeah. much did. She said um, she had previously tweeted. Now the record this is company back, made her do that. Pro, well, I, I would hope so. Well, I like her. I mean, no, it makes sense. Uh, right? She, she, she. What, what, what did she okay. do? Okay. What did she do, darling? This What's is, that word you use when she re she re what? Retracted, like he said, like, like she, she, she did she with did her husbands. You know what? Go ahead. Stop it. Anyway, she Off previously tweeted, I'm respecting a man. Then, to mind you, this is when he was first accused. Remember? I love Jill Scott. Man. Me too. I adore yeah, that's her. That's why everybody look past her shit. This bitch get married seasonally. Now, listen. B- b- you know what? She a oh fat God. Kardashian. Oh, oh, God. I didn't. Okay. Anyway, she tweeted, <laughs> she tweeted previously, I'm respecting a man who has done more for the image of brown people than almost anyone ever has from Fat Albert to the Huxtables. But now she's changed her course after learning about his, the new deposition that came out. And now she said about Big Co- she said about Bill Cosby, sadly, his own testimony offers proof of terrible deeds, which is all I have ever required to believe those accusations. Like she, she ain't never that. fucked while she was high, fat bitch. You Shut the what? fuck up. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. I hate hypocrites. I'm going to go with the ink crowd now well, so I can sell more albums. You know what, though? <laughs> well. We we addressed that uh, a week ago on mm-hmm. the Zoe What Show when we did a show called the Smoking Gun Show. Mm. Where I said, everybody on planet Earth got a fucking smoking gun. 
everybody got dirt on them. Mm-hmm. And because we so PC politically correct, which leads to pretentiousness, mm. right? We already package for a corporation to fund us. Right. Because they funding an image, a clean cut image. But if you get behind that image, I guarantee you, every salesperson, every pitch man, mm. every uh, front man, uh, face man of the corporation got some dirt on them. Everybody. Mm-hmm. It ain't just Bill Cosby. Right. It's everybody. It's a lot of people. Right. I hear you. But isn't that something? Wow. So I don't know what's yeah. going to happen with him. They they even said that the network that has been replaying um, – a couple of his shows have stopped him, pulled it. Well, I'm sure of it. But they is listen. Cedric ain't gonna play the Cosby shows no more. They were saying they didn't so the say Cosby which show ones. lost value. Oh, cause he um, what is Network this? Ain't one. rape, is it? Is this rape? Well, yeah. because let me yeah, tell you something. First of all, you yeah. take the pussy. He, he got forty the holes. Sleep. Here's the thing, because they he got forty was, holes right, claiming no DNA this. statute limitations. So that's the only thing they can't get him on. But it is. But let me say this. Let me say this. I think that's right. If you have been out with 40 hoes, that means you in demand. Am I wrong about that? Mm. The average nigga can't get 40 hoes? Wow. But maybe he getting them because he's cars. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. See, you so, bitches out with him because he built cars. Right, they'll show up at his house and everything. But, but that's, not a, that's not a fucking uh, coupon to get the Benadryl special. No. Them bitches went out with Bill Cosby because they thought he was a sweet, lame motherfucker. The hardcore rapper back then was Curtis Blow. Am I right? You know what? <laughs> Them hoes wouldn't fuck with Curtis Blow. Playing basketball. Uh-oh. They was like, oh, no, he got a curly kid. He bad. You know what? He got a curly kid. <laughs> Curtis Blow turned out to be the good nigga. You know what? Cosby talking shit about niggas cursing and shit. Damn. Right? This nigga fucking sleep bitches. Oh. God dang it. What? But he you know what? I believe part, he fucked sleep bitches. But that's part of his morality. Mm. The way he presents himself in this moral high ground kind of way. You know, the legal side of it said, well, since you presented yourself that way, we get to inquire in your private life. Because you've taken a private or you've taken a public space. Mm. To, you know, espouse all of these, you know, moral whatever. And now that that shit is in question, because you took this public space, Mm -hmm. we get to see what's happening. Mm -hmm. That motherfucker says something about what black people need to do with their kids. See, that's true. They lie. There you go. These motherfuckers can't speak. Well. Right? Mm -hmm. What he was saying is, how is your son going to take some pussy if he can't talk correctly? (laughs) Stop. That's what he was trying to say, obviously, because he admitted this shit. Okay, so translate what Cosby really, really meant so, in he, all of these fucking... If Cosby could have a real heart-to-heart talk with these little ghetto kids and tell the truth, he'll be like, I done fucked so many hoes with this nice guy shit because they trust me. They not going to trust you because you don't talk like me. And you don't wear a scoochie sweater like me. Right. Looking all... <laughs> Bill, you fucked up on this. Damn one. it! I ain't gonna yeah. lie, Bill. You no. caught up on this. One. Yeah, you <laughs> oh, got it. God. That's it. You that caught was up. You can't fix this, Bill. And you know what's really an ultra trip? Your blind on the ass took pussy while you could see. Go you ahead. know what's really a trip on the whole thing <laughs> is that the legal people, the team, and the courts knew that <laughs> all that was hidden. So all this time, this fool's going, no, "I never did. I don't know what these ladies are talking about. I never did." Can you imagine the people that were? At, weren't at liberty they couldn't speak on it but can you imagine how it was eating them up it's if they no- had any morality you know what I'm saying left in them do you know what I'm saying like they knew that this existed I'm and a yet- celebrity mm. wow I mean who is that who, who are you to say you're a celebrity but look mm. I'm saying I'm a celebrity right mm-hmm. low level celebrity <laughs> a low level motherfucking celebrity <laughs> I can admit it and I'm out of shape I ain't who I used to be I used, they used to call me the dunk creator what was the last dunk? But you the created? reason I can still dunk a ball. <laughs> you know what? I can still dunk a basketball right now. Bet something on it, nigga. We saw, we saw what you did the last time you tried. You, I'll you put up five hundred dollars. You got to get a nipple ring in front of everybody. I Ooh. dunk a basketball. Ooh. What? I would never take, take it, a it, fucking nipple ring bet. 
<laughs> you, <laughs> what you afraid of losing? So then that means you think he so, can. That's what I'm saying. But that's no, what I don't think he could dunk. I, we saw him. W- weren't you on the court? Yeah. I was there. Yeah. This motherfucker yeah. was this far from the rim. Yeah. <laughs> and then he fell. Put something on it. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'll put something on it. Nipple ring? No. It got to be a No better hats better. for a year. Uh, no, it's got to be. It's got to be a better. I can't do no four shows without a hat. I I'll put up <laughs> 200 to your four shows without a hat. Hey, you, you can't train for it. <gasps> what do you mean I can't train? Hell no. Nah. You he is admitting he's Listen, I'm me. saying you right now in your rotund bill. Let's go. <laughs> let's go to the gym after this. Oh. You go, go to the gym after this. And dunk. And dunk a basketball. I wear. And if I do it with this motherfucker, wait on me right now. You got to not wear a hat for shows. Four shows. Bet. <laughs> I know you're going to try to shade that head good. <laughs> that motherfucker, that, motherfucker, uh, that um, um, uh, erection up top going to show. That erection. Oh four God. shows. All right. All right. So moving on. All right. So if you haven't heard about, and I mean, that's just so, this is so interesting, the timing of this, because just this morning, and I'm not going to say his name, but I will show the guy's a picture a guy woke up this morning and there was a direct message to me with one of our listeners and he's like you seem like a very honest person darlene i was just and then you work out i was just trying to get swear to god you could even see the text the the conversation and he said um what do you think about this i want to get your honest opinion and i was like you know what what is he thinking what did he do a freaking full-on face and everything naked picture of himself he said it to me this morning you know that can be a crime. Speaking, of, yeah, that's like sexual harassment. Yeah, if you like, send a naked picture to somebody you, without you. them requesting he's it, lucky that he's young. It and can I'm be not a gonna, crime. I know, I know. So I said, I gave him in my, America. I gave him my honest opinion. I said, dude, you know what? Not cool, man. Really? Who? Why are you doing oh, this? I thought you were saying who you need to lose some weight. He said, no, no, no. <laughs> oh no, he's got a decent body. But I was just saying, why? Why would you do to? that? Did he turn you? He on? sent it to my phone to my uh, a direct message off of uh, Facebook. Phone. Direct message through messenger. Oh, on a DM? Yes, 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 yes. I have it. And he was like, okay, my bad, darling. I'm sorry. On that. Yeah, dude. Nah, what are you he thinking? motherfucking got his rocks off doing that right, shit. Right, but I was like, what do you think? His I said, that's such a turnoff, though. I was like, dude, honestly, come on now. Who does that? You really reaching a lot nowadays. Of people do it. Here we go. Speaking of that. But it's illegal. But that's what I'm, I'm getting at right now. So the story on um, um, Tyga. All right, so if you guys haven't heard, and he's the, uh, he's the guy that is dating the youngest of the uh, Kardashians slash Jenners. Um, the bitch. Yeah, he's twenty five. She's seventeen, and I can't get in on that because I mean I can't go in on that. Seventeen fucking rappers. What is that? Well, born I, to lose. Well, bitch. I wasn't eighteen yet when I met my ex, and he was twenty. <laughs> my point exactly. <laughs> Shut your ass. <laughs> anyway, so apparently definition of down in that's stores. That's what I'm talking about. Boom. <laughs> anyway, so uh, uh, Tiger's lawyers say that the penis pictures, and he even admits they are his, but. Allegedly, they're saying that they were sent out. Uh, somebody he's he's claiming that somebody's trying to get him because they're trying to claim uh, connect the story of the picture being leaked and that it came from him sexting a transgender model, allegedly. But he's claiming no, I did send that picture out, and he's not saying to who. And he said to a person, so he doesn't want to claim and put that person's name out there who's he's saying might be behind the story. You need to put that motherfucker out there because your dick. Got sent directly to a dick. Well, no. No, here's the thing, because he's claiming you it didn't. sword fighting with your cell phone, my nigga. Well, he's gonna. He's claiming that his lawyer, lawyers are claiming that they're going to uh, get down to the bottom of this because he knows who he sent that photo to. Dick boxing with cell phones. Why are these all... people? What the hell? I don't get It's not. I'm In not... this day and time. Let me just say this. Who would do this? In this day and time. Why won't you guys just admit you fuck dudes? Nobody ever says, yeah, I sent it to dudes, so what? My bad. I thought it was a nice looking girl. It happened to be this damn dude. Oh, no, I, I believe they know it's a dude. It's just they ashamed. Yeah, this is what's going on because he's claiming not now. All Come these gay now. rights. Are, wait a minute. Are they ashamed or are they afraid of being shamed? Because Both. it could very well be a mis- an accident. There's a lot of guys out here who fuck dudes but are ashamed of it. We need all these gay rights out here <laughs> that are being passed for y'all. Y'all can get married now. You need to stop being afraid and ashamed of who you are, Barack Obama and you guys. 
You guys like wow. guys. You like guys. Why don't you just say it? Even though you're married, you still like dudes. Well, it's an ongoing case right now. It you just talking started. about? Sex. You like how dicks look? They are claiming that you like dicks shoved in your ass when your asshole real moist. They don't like dry fucking. They get their ass real moist around that little rim part. It's tight, so it go. Pee. You know what? I still like that Rack City Take on this song. Little, this thing over here. I do like his Rack City song, though. Still. Eight out of ten men get broke off shit in the back of their ass. Yeah. And that's what you like. You like broke off shit, the warmth of broke off shit on your dick. Why you can't admit it? All these motherfuckers. You 80%, nigga. 80% of all men got a broke off stem of shit. I don't why a a uh, come on Corey really I'm pretty sure oh so you're just trying to say that's that, a that high you guys number, are just man. that unique so no you, I'm just saying I went to the bathroom earlier <laughs> and I took a good shower but I bet if I went in my ass it's a piece of broke off shit in there I didn't I I didn't clean it all out like that <laughs> so all these guys who are homosexual like the smell and feel. Of smash shit against their dickhead. And nobody wants to admit this shit. Yeah, they try to We get... need to go to the no, foxhole right. and talk about oh, this. Here we go. Here we go. Because broke off shit on dicks happens up there. Anyway. Wow. Yeah, well. <laughs> this shit is wild. It what? is. What? Nobody want to say the shit. Everybody want to talk around it. Oh, that was an accident. I didn't mean to send it to him. Yes, you did. You wanted that shit. Well, we'll soon dick. find out because it is an actual oh, case. Wow. But but just FYI to the guy that sent me that this morning, uh, you guys don't want to see it. Why well, you don't want to see it? Blair? Because I, that's now What's that's his illegal. Name? I don't want to do that to him. What? He's, He's, and he looks young. He looks he very break, young. He broke the law, right? Well, pretty much. But I don't want well, to have to do that. Well, what's his handle? It's very disrespectful. It is very. And I, to, and I told him. I told him, so maybe this was his I'll lesson. I'll be like, hey, part. homie, like if this, what, a motherfucker do that shit to somebody, a, a woman you care about, and you'll be like, man, homie, mm -hmm. you, you, you foul, G. Yeah. What are you going to say yeah. then? Exactly, right. Well, keep awesome. your little dick pics to yourself. Or keep your big <laughs> dick pics to yourself. <laughs> Send dick pics to girls who want to see your dick. Yeah, what kind I, of invitation is that? But that's what I'm saying. What were you this thinking of that? And I asked him, I was like, don't do that. that, is, that is, All you got to do is say, can cool. I send you a picture of my dick? Like, and she, oh, is, if she no. say, and she gonna text yes or no? Exactly, and I would have been like, no, dude, come on now, I ain't right. about all that. That keep it coming. But on, it man. is girls who will be like, yeah, let me see your dick. Exactly, but, but to just didn't... outright do it, I literally maybe like, he thought you was one of those girls. It doesn't matter. He didn't ask. He just right. did it. Like when you open up DM, boom, there's his name, boom, and you and you see a name. Oh, what is this? It's like darling. I'm so disrespectful. I'm gonna pull my dick out. Yeah. And send this picture to her. Face and all. It's not even like it's just that. It'd be different if it was just his gender. Then he'd be like, that's probably not even you anyway, sir. But no, it is his name. <laughs> it is his face. It's Chris. <laughs> now look, Corey. fuck it. Darlene, what we all want to know. Yeah. Was the dick big? Was the dick big it's, on that? It's huge. That's why he sent the picture. <laughs> look, look. Either we fucking or I'm it's, fucking. Wait. That Bill Cosby picture. He got a Bill Cosby picture. You know picture. what? Saying, look, bitch, either we fucking or I'm fucking. <laughs> That's messed up. Either way, bitch, it's going but, down. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so, oh, look, look, kid who sent that. Anyway, yeah, no, he, because he said, oh, you work out and, you know, I respect your honest opinion. You know, uh, Darlene, what do you, if what he do you did think it the right way, would you have liked the dick pic? No, those are gross to me. Seriously. If he did it the I mean, right way, she wouldn't be talking about it. And, and not only that, I've she never. made the connection. No, you know how Darlene is. She don't talk about she get hell right. what she street. do. Yeah, I wouldn't if, if somebody, street. yeah, a we guy that I was seeing. Right, if right. a guy that I was seeing, which has, has happened before, and I've even told him, I'm like, dude, this ain't cute. Are you serious? Why'd you do that? Like I told him, I was like, why'd you send that? I had this bitch send me a picture of the ashiest nipple I ever saw. <laughs> <laughs> and then this bitch what? gonna say, did you get the pick? I said, yeah, bitch, I gotta rub some goddamn Vaseline on my iPhone. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that nipple was so goddamn, that nipple was so rusty. I was like, bitch, are you in a tribe, bitch? Oh, my God. What the God. fuck? Are you in a tribe? Right. Oh. <laughs> this, bitch, this bitch had them, remember Crocodile Dundee, them aborigines? Yes. Stop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
quest for fire nipple, nigga. Right. <laughs> oh, my God. This nigga. bitch nipple was not to be sent. Bitch, don't ever put that nipple on like that. Yeah. social media. Now, she, she would have asked you, though. Of course, you're like, you probably would have said, yeah. She asked. Oh, and you were like, hell yeah. I don't give a fuck. Let me tell you something. A woman can send me all the naked pictures you want. And that's more like a dude thing too, but girl, yes. too, I don't, don't want to see you. It is nothing. a it is a dude thing. Girls, right, it's a double with standard that. with that. You can send me pictures of your body if you want to. But you now, if your say- body ain't on point, bitch, I will voice my rejection. <laughs> is it a crime to post pics that, or sext pics that motherfuckers send you? Yeah, you're not supposed to. Yeah, that's well, what happened with that. With the, you know, isn't like it people, your property once it gets in your phone? Yes, that's what I'm is. saying. But Especially why would if you people, got an iPhone? Right, and I'm saying why would people trust that this stupid idiot? Bless your heart. I mean, he's gonna. He's, he's he seems young. Obviously, it's he, gonna go on. It's in the cloud. It ain't gonna ever gonna go away. Well, it don't matter. He proud of what he working with, but I'm just saying, homie, you it's, out of it's, pocket. Yeah, it's gross. Just doing that shit because you can go to jail. Right. Yeah. You yeah, can go to no, jail. No, he, so he took a risk. <laughs> he did. He took a hell of a risk. You 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 sent it yeah. to the right one. Yeah, because I don't believe Darlene's gonna go press charges. No, yeah. I felt bad for him. He looked really young. I was like, oh my god, are you serious? And then of course the news show was like, you want? She was like, no, I don't. <laughs> I remember I sent my dick to this motherfucking girl, and I was very offended how she sent all them motherfucking um, laugh faces back. <laughs> That's why I don't send it no more. But I'm wait, like, though, you, you bitch, fuck you. But here's the thing. When you, when, if, I got a good heart. If somebody sends a picture of just a part, <laughs> you don't even know if that's theirs, if it's, especially if it's black. Look, I, I have done that before, too. But I, who does that? You sent I this found thing. this horse dick on the internet, and he was the same tone as me. Boy, them hoes was trying to fly to California to see oh, me. Oh, yeah, that's no fun. That's I had a bitch from Arkansas was going to drive out here for that dick. I was actually jealous. I was like, damn, boy, so That's this is what it's like, huh? like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This nigga dick look like a goddamn, these mics we talking into. <laughs> oh, stop. What? I'm serious. <laughs> I am confident enough to talk about what the fuck has happened to me. I'm too old to be ashamed. <laughs> God damn it. When I used to send that fake dick out, all kind of bitches was like, I'm going to come see you. Listen to this <laughs> nigga right here. You sending out. Fake dick pics. Hey, man, I used to be lonely, man. I used, I had a lonely period in my life, man. <laughs> I just did it. To be honest, I did it to see Did it re- have a hand in it, or was it just by itself? No, it was just... Uh, <laughs> was it soft? Dude, it, it was, was it right all? there. No, it was soft, but it was huge. But the thing about it, he <laughs> had real nappy pubic hair. And them bitches used to be like, even though the pubic hair like that, I still fuck with it. And I, used, I want to be like, right bitch, now. my pubic hair good. It's just, uh, <laughs> it wasn't mine. You're right, like, oh. you in a tribe? <laughs> oh yeah. my god! Anyway, I got a couple of great pubes that don't fuck with you for real, dude. Oh my god! Stop. <laughs> what, nigga? Oh, I got no, great pubes. Fuck it, I don't oh, give a true. fuck. <laughs> like so, me for me. Anyway, uh, so listen. If you have an Loose extra, talk. if you have an extra spare twenty five mil around, right? You and you want to move to Atlanta, you can buy Tyler Perry's home. He is selling the famed Atlanta estate for twenty five oh, million. Shit. A lot of his famous films and TV shows are go. shot there. I don't why know if you, you ever why seen are you that. Telling him this. Have you ever seen that property? My God. Oh, what's in what? Tyler Perry's twenty five million dollar home? Let, Let me tell you something, man. Property, right? Let me tell y'all something. Fifty one fifty nation. Listen to me. Listen. Tyler Perry had me on one of his TV shows, mm-hmm. and I don't know nothing about the home, but he got a studio oh my God. out there Look, I put it in there. Atlanta that is fucking up a lot of these studios oh. out here. He got a lake in the back of that motherfucker. Yeah, hey, I said that he a did the smartest shit anybody could do mm-hmm. when you're in the entertainment business, and that's on the production and distribution end of some of shit. Of all your most of your He stuff. invited me to his office, and we talked yeah. like men. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because in real life, when you talk to Tyler Perry, he conducts himself like a man. Uh-huh. All that shit you see on. The TV screen, mm-hmm. it is what it is. Right. Ain't none of us dumb. Right. But I'm saying, that brother, and I'm taking up for him because, you know what I'm You'll saying, we judge books with, yeah. by their covers. Right. Right. But I'm telling you, this man on top of his shit, G. Okay, it's good. See, so this man on, on top of his shit. I tried to like say to that, that a couple shows ago, 
I said the motherfucker did the smart. I said I don't like the motherfuckers' movies. I don't watch that shit. But that's the smartest dude. It's businessman. That's right. In, in, in terms of entertainment, and business. I hear the nicest but too. He's I hear the nicest to, to be able to set up a studio, a full fledged studio like the ones here in Hollywood. Yeah, Come and on, all man. your shit is in house. Yeah, and you producing all of your content. You creating yeah. it. And you cater into a, a fan base that ain't going nowhere. It's almost like a church fan base. Oh, it's a They're not going problem. nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, we disagree on some things. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's a lot of people who really come at me about my Obama jokes and how I feel about Obama. How do they come at They you? feel, they are, they are hurt that I will say the things I say about Obama. But at the you same know time, now, saying? do they at least give you big ups on the, re- like, respect for you being honest? Because a lot of Well, time- most people give me respects for what I do as a comedian. Mm-hmm. But what I have different opinions of, you know, with Obama, Instead of Charles saying, Barkley, for speaking your mind, they don't, they don't like that. But there's a way to conduct yourself when you're around somebody mm-hmm. where you both try to be respectful as you speak to one another. Mm-hmm. You see what I mean? Yeah, mm-hmm. I can understand that. Yeah. So I, can understand that. I had that type of relationship with Tyler Perry, and I'm, I'm, I'm proud of that because even though – we might see differently on other things. The brother on top of his game plan, man. That's in terms of hear. business, I like yeah, that, for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. I can't argue on that. I and, I, and I think they know it's harder for somebody like me to fit in in Hollywood anyway because mm-hmm. of who I am and how I act and what I say. Right, mm-hmm. right, right. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. if anything I get in Hollywood, you're supposed to be like, that nigga, how the fuck yo, what? <laughs> do they know what you be saying? <laughs> and they do. That happened on set while I was filming Black Jesus. No, mm-hmm. and they know. Yeah, they know what you they know yeah. what you out here saying. Yeah, though. but so, but I never switch up who I am. You're not supposed right. to. No, I'm there not go. gonna switch up who I am because and I think this they respect is what I, that somebody like that of his caliber. That man, you're not I supposed to switch up. Right. Most people when they meet me, they think differently of me um, because when I do what I do and I say what I say, everybody's like this. They take when they that first to heart, me. right? And then after they have a conversation with me, they like, oh, this motherfucker, he, yeah. right? He's smart. <laughs> But see, and that's another misnomer. They first off, they just think, oh, he's just a comedian. And, mm-hmm. and, and first off, it takes real smarts to be a comedian. Mm-hmm. It's not some easy shit to do. No. Secondarily, when you say don't switch up, a lot of people see that in a black and white way. Technically, wherever there's fucking critical thinking going on, you're going to be learning. And as you learn, you grow and you change. Mm-hmm. A lot of times people say, oh, well, you know, you're not supposed to change your beliefs. That's not true. If you learn People some shit grow, and you right. grow, uh-huh. you nigga, smart motherfuckers go back and go, wait a minute, let me, let me, and re- they actually you know, speak on let it, right. reevaluate, let me reevaluate this shit, like, and then stand on that. Right. There are people who criticize the show, right? And I always fuck them up when I say, well, I'm a listen. I'm, I heard what you said. Mm-hmm. I'm a research that because I want to get it right. Right. Then right. they be stuck. <laughs> Right, because they expect me. They to didn't like, expect you to do that. Fuck you, motherfucker. Yeah, right. they don't expect you to be ignorant about right. it. Right, right. I put them in the corner. Right. After you to talk to all this shit about me, I still now came like, at you mm. correctly. Right, they ain't expect that. <laughs> well, they expect the haymaker. You throw the jab. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, to continue on, so we could fit in a couple other things. I don't want to take too much of your time. All right. Anyway, uh, t- just this morning today, a judge um, refused to dismiss the murder case against Suge Knight. I don't know if you guys heard about that boy. Anyway, so um, he he ruled that uh, Knight should stand trial for murder despite the fact that the key witness, and we all saw that played out on TV, uh, one of the men that was he was accused of running over um, refused to identify him in court. Uh, also, hmm, where is it at? Uh, yeah, so it said that he, he said he wouldn't budge, and he said that Knight is still being held on a $10 million bail. So, hmm. well, you know, I say this about that whole situation. It's real street shit. It's real I don't want to get involved in real street shit no. when the motherfuckers who was dead don't even fuck with the system. You see what I'm that's saying? That's true. That's true. But just giving everybody the the you know the 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 uh, the current situation on on his uh, case, like they're at first everybody thought, okay, they're gonna throw it out because nobody's you know nobody's pointing them out, nobody's saying <clears> that it even happened, but they have proof. They have the you know the uh, 
the videotape and everything like that. So they're going to continue on with the case. So we'll see what happens with that. Yeah, I mean, somebody got to make some money somewhere. The and a lot of times these cases are just about money. That's what it's all about. Right. That's really what it who is. Gonna, right. Who going to give them some money? Right. That's We've already charged mm-hmm. somebody, so somebody's got to pay. Right. That's all it is. Somebody's How can pay. we hustle this? Right. right. I mean, right. we ain't right. right. cold court all, system, boy. Yeah, like all this news coverage and media, hell no, there's money here. There's we're, not gonna, money. we're not going to let this shit go. We don't yeah. give a fuck if there ain't no witnesses. Also, last <laughs> bit, I wanted to get your guys' opinion on this. Of course, you heard about DeAndre Johnson, and that's the 19-year-old who hit that young lady in the bar. Florida. Florida. Florida and, State. Yeah, and um, they, of course, he is trying to say, because they had, they've let him go from the I team. I keep hearing people say he hit that young lady. Let I haven't heard you. anybody say she hit that's, him. I was just about to say something on that because I was like, hello, it, it, even in the video, yes, his react. it took a while. The kid is 19 and he was restrained. That girl had her fist balled up before he even like tried to speak to her. And then you see him almost trying to restrain her. And she still lets go with another hand and tries to hit him. Man, I was like, okay, there we go again. One of them situations where why would you push it? Why are you testing a male? Why you do it? And then, and then, of course, they arrest him or they put charges on him uh, for battery and assault and then removed him from the team. But she's got nothing. They have never said, oh, and she <clears throat> swung at him first. She's calling him names. You just see her mouth moving. So, so they have people testifying in the, in the bar that can testify to what was said. But you see visually, I don't even need to know what was said because there's no, it doesn't even matter the words because you see her already balled up fighting him. And come on, he's like, I don't know if he fat palmed her, but either way, you don't push, you don't push anybody like that. But see, here's the thing, <clears throat> and this is the shit we we're always talking about. We're always gonna be a fucked up society when we don't look at shit with balanced eyes. The mm-hmm. stereotype says men should never hit women under any circumstance. Mm-hmm. So what happens then? Women see that as a coupon. That's right to, to do act that. Poorly. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like that. And there's a campaign out there. So if I say that, all of a sudden Zoza, oh, Zo hates yeah. women. No, violence is a human condition. It affects women just like it affects men. Mm-hmm. But because men are bigger, and when we hit you, the impact is different. Right. Right. So we have the greater responsibility to not be violent towards you. But you do the fucking research. And as a woman, you'll see women are more violent than men. So this is what I want to say about the shit. Because I saw the shit, too. But also, really quick, they're trying to say that he he, he has no chances in the NFL. Do you think so? I don't know. He's a 19-year-old kid. But anyway, that's just some racist uh shit anyway. Yeah. Look, I don't like bullies. Right. Especially men who bully women. Mm -hmm. Right. I will not fuck with you if I identify you as a, as a bully. As a bully. Mm. Right. Especially a bully of women. Mm. I had a friend back in Chicago named Nate. Nate was a bully. Mm-hmm. Nate had issues. I seen him hit his kids in ways that make me go, What? Yeah, did you like, swing what? on that boy? Right. I seen him. He got cases where he beat women. Mm. Right. The motherfucker got mad at me. He called me one day on some bail shit. I wasn't fucking with you on no bail. I know what you do. Right. Not, no, hold on. Let me get this right. See, I didn't say this to him. That's why I wish I could have got back mm. when he called me talking about, yo, I'm in trouble, woo, woo, woo. Mm. I bet you are. I was like, I just kind of played it off mm-hmm. like, oh, man, all right, anyway. What I should have said to him was, Nate, you have cases of fighting women. It's your MO. Right. This is at most Don't call me with that. This bitch gonna lie and say, right. <laughs> "Nigga, I know mm-hmm. you." Right. I should have been stopped fucking with you because right. of how you get down. Right. Mm-hmm. I want to make that clear. I don't like a bully, especially a man who beat on a woman. Right. Mm-hmm. And there's, but let me tell you this. Yeah. If a bitch hit me, she is in danger of getting the shit knocked out of her ass yes, because I, I saw that bitch on that tape behave Ooh. herself once she got super socked. She was a very Mm -hmm. erratic bitch Mm -hmm. until she got the shit knocked out of her. That's when she became a lady. She was like, oh, uh, I saw the pain in that face. Yeah, no, I know. That left side, Mm -hmm. this is the left side of that cheek. That motherfucker was throbbing like... (laughs) Like it, turbo. Was, it was stunned. Like, oh my What's God. What's that crew turbo them battled and breaking and shit when they was uh. all like this? <laughs> you know that what? bitch Joe was on some motherfucking. 
That's when the bitch act like she got some sense. No, you're right. But see, you're right. Th- but then yeah. there's a responsibility. You can't be no bitch trying to fight me. Like they said, all the all the coons on ESPN said he should have walked away. He's of a 19 year old kid. Said than the, but, 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 but he's a 19 year old kid. Do see, I need to say more? But see, this this is what they're saying in terms of the social game rules. Right. We all for know what this. it means to be a fucking college athlete. Those are the rules. You don't even get paid. Yeah, they do. Now they do. Uh, who get paid? Those kids get paid now. Who told you the kids get paid for college football? Uh, dude, my son is at school. They get a check now because of the fucking uh, Ed O'Bannon case. They get a check now. For what? For, nigga, j- here, a check. The food is free. And a check. And your, your, and your education. We need to research this. No, I ain't got to research college, shit. My son is getting a check. I don't believe you. That if college you know, athletes if college athletes are getting paid, I would like to know. They get a check now. Because they deserve to get paid. They get a check. They, they, because yeah. of the Ed O'Bannon. You remember Ed O'Bannon? When did they pass this? They, this was earlier. Uh, it was last summer. Last summer, they won all the way to the Supreme Court. They won the top five conferences. I know this pack, shit pack is going. 12, if they SEC. getting paid, they deserve it, Zoe. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just telling they, you. They should have been getting paid. They but getting paid. I don't know nothing about them getting paid. But as far as this kid goes mm. who punched that girl, if there's anybody in this world who deserves to be counseled. It's that kid. Is a fucking 19 year old. I agree with that. Who hit somebody back who hit them. I agree with that. But because he is an African American athlete. But there's, a, there's a game he got to play. Like they shit it all over the quarterback before him. Mm-hmm. They look for a reason to take you out and put Jimmy Chu in. Mm-hmm. But there, there, there's a game you got to play. I want to say this to all the young ladies of the world who are drunk in a bar this weekend. <laughs> if you hit the wrong motherfucker, if you test it, they don't, are don't, going to hit you back, don't bitch. Don't play with the male. Don't you will get your males. jaw broke fucking yeah. with the wrong motherfucker. Yeah. There is a campaign. I want you to go to YouTube, look it up. It's called Violence is Violence. And on that Violence is Violence video, they show the stereotypical stance that 99% of everybody has when it comes to domestic violence. Mm. They show a man and a woman walking in a park. They're actors. The man is going off on the woman. I saw that. You had it on your show. The man goes off on the woman. Everybody comes to the woman's defense. Mm -hmm. They do it again. It's natural. Then every the woman is going off on the man, and and I mean slapping him, pushing him, doing everything. And they laugh. Everybody's laughing at the man. The color of the woman as well. So there is a double standard in domestic violence. Mm -hmm. But see, that is not something that I'm going to accept and be like. Oh, it's just like this. Just like I'm not going to accept that this Bruce Jenner motherfucker who's about to win some Courage Award should win anything because he want to put on a motherfucking dress and dress like a bitch. In fact, you lied. You said you don't fuck men, and it's proof you fuck men. What? He's a fucking homosexual. He said on that interview with the elderly bitch, he Who don't the, fuck with me. <laughs> Who is the Damn elderly it. bitch? Damn it. What is the elderly bitch name? Diane you know what I'm talking Sawyer. About? Yeah. You're talking about Diane. Was that yeah. Diane Sawyer? Yes. Okay. When you see them bitches without that makeup on, you be like, oh, this is an elderly bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch look like the emperor on Return of the Jedi. <laughs> Master Yoda. Remember, he, remember he, was, he was fucking him up with that lightning? <laughs> if you won't join the duck. No, the only That's pro- what that bitch look like. The, the only the big problem the big problem <laughs> I have Palpatine. with him, right? <laughs> <laughs> the big problem that I have with Jenner or Caitlyn, whatever the, the you want to be called, the faggot motherfucker. But, oh uh, shit! I, 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 I fucked up. They finally got me God to say damn it. faggot. <laughs> The F bomb. I did not say. Okay, can I? I wanna, let me say yeah, this because yeah, I really want to hear what it's you okay. want to say, but it's important right. to the young fifty one fifty nation. When you say faggot, they have passed legislation where Flag that nigga. is a hate crime word. That's Flag right. nigga. Right. Right. So I got caught up and I said you got, you faggot. Right, well, what so you, you meant? No, 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 no,
I understand how they can come at you right. with these laws that were written by homosexual men with right. power and arrest you for stuff like that. Right. Mm-hmm. There's a lot more creative things to say besides faggot. Right. Mm-hmm. I like um, truffle butter bandits and all that shit. What? Oh my god. Oh. Koi fish. Koi fish again. type motherfucker. Right. Koi we, fish side We got again. too many words <laughs> uh, for me to be fighting laws that they wrote. Yeah, right. Yeah, to yeah. try to. Take people like me who are not, right? who don't like broke off shit on the tip of my dick. Right. I'm just saying. They got these words that they try to trap you with. Right, but it's not like. So I'm slicker than faggot. Right. I got better words than that. All right. So you. Well, let me words. just say this about domestic violence. Okay. It's not about advocating for domestic violence, it's about advocating for understanding. Relationships are violent. They've done the research from kids all the way to fucking adults. Relationships have violence in them. We've got to start teaching how to redirect anger. I've been in domestic violence situations. Corey has been in domestic violence situations. I done broke a bitch off a couple of times. But that don't mean somebody goes out to fight a woman. That's different. Somebody who balls his fists up and punches a woman in the mouth, there's something wrong with that And vice versa. A dude who loses his temper... A dude who loses his temper, a dude who has taken on a lot of emotional violence from that same woman, a dude who's taken on a lot of physical violence from that same woman, I always ask this fundamental question. And that is, if you get 10 women and, and line them up and ask the question, do human beings have limits? Women will agree. Maybe 90%, 99% of those women will say, absolutely, women have limits. I mean, people have limits. Right. But then I come back and say then the same thing should apply to your man. Mm -hmm. Sometimes women don't see their men as having limits for the shit they can heap onto him. Right. Well, because like you said, because I never thought you would do something like that. Well, Mm -hmm. hey. Well, you fucking up as a man. Mm -hmm. If your woman thinks she can hit you and get away with it, you are fucking up as a man. Your woman should understand if I hit that motherfucker... (laughs) It's a he good might possibility. Hit me back. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. These that should are, be part of her thinking. But these are layers in the complexity of the domestic violence argument. Right. That all needs no, to be the but, double standard, yeah. the limits of humanity, yeah. violence as a ubiquitous uh, element of the human condition. That nigga said ubiquitous. ubiquitous. No, I'm just saying. Like, these we don't are know what elements. the fuck a ubiquitous That's an octopus, ain't it? You know, <laughs> it's a sea creature, Corey. It's a sea creature. <laughs> What the fuck that got to do with domestic violence, though? Ubiquitous means it's throughout all of human relationships. I thought it's it was a throughout. dumb fat girl. Ubiquitous, bitch. Ubiquitous. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Anyway. That ubiquitous bitch over there, K. Reed. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I know. I'm done. I'm done. What? I'm just saying. No, I mean, but we make jokes, but it's a serious. Right. Con- we all talking about shit that that that, 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 that yeah. really Layered. needs to be said about this domestic violence thing. Mm-hmm. Listen, we've, we've stop it. thinking that you above getting hit. They teaching you wrong. They destroying the community by telling women that you are destroying the community. Telling a woman that she is above getting hit by a man. Right, just because you're no, you do not push buttons like that on anybody. Not you don't a hit female, people. not a male. The, the fucking research speaks for itself. Women are more violent in intimate relationships than men are. You know who Jay Adande is? Uh, J. A. Adande. J. A. Adande. Yes, one of the guys on ESPN. Yes, I watch him try to boldly say there's a double standard. There but is. the way he said it, they all make sure they say, no matter what, you wrong for hitting a woman. Right. You they are, have to preface it with that. You are it's, trained yeah. to say that. Right. Because you know, and I know, that a man is stronger than a woman most sure. of the time. Right. right. Yeah. And it's not fair when a man hits a woman if you're going off fighting somebody on your level, strength-wise. Right. right. It's not fair. Mm-hmm. But. We need to definitely make sure the women in the community understand that you don't hit a man because you right. feel like he'll get in trouble more well, than not you even will. Just, right. Not only just hit, just your behavior towards a man, the pushing the buttons, the stuff you say. But that's say. what they say. Right. It's the, it's, it doesn't have to be physical. A bitch could push my buttons. That's what I'm right. saying. But I won't hit her. You if won't. If a bitch is like, a lot, yeah. you fucking piece of shit. 
I'll be like, you right. That's nah, what I always say. You can handle that, but I'm like Zoe's saying, it shit. needs to be taught because the majority of people are growing taught. up in that kind of right. in environment. But my droppings are all over your bed, bitch. You know what? Droppings? Anyway. Yeah, my droppings. <laughs> <laughs> Bitches, I don't like. I act like I got a, um, a problem with peeing in the bed. Uh. And a lot of them deal with it because I, I got that paper, but. I'm just saying, I done pissed in a lot of you bitches' beds out there. You bitches ain't shit for tolerating a pissy-ass man. Oh. You ever had somebody pee in your bed, D? Uh, probably my son when he was a kid. And his not your leaked. son, that don't but count. But that's what I'm saying, no. About a grown not. man, real no. dark yellow, color this shirt pee. No, why? The fluorescent no. pee. No, Corey, oh my God. <laughs> now and later color pee. <laughs> oh, your motherfucking shirt. No. Mm-mm. No, but it's something we need to have a broader discussion on and it uh, and it it ha- it can't be politically correct. It, it has to be. be open and objective. It can't be PC. Right. Because wherever there's a PC conversation, there's a pretentious conversation. Is that imaginary? Pretentious? It's just you're going to talk around yeah, it. around it. You already know what's going to You're going to say the polite thing. You're going you're gonna to placate to the listeners. we got to have an objective, open conversation about it. Well, the problem with it is we can have it. We're bold enough to have it. Right. But on television, mm-hmm. all the viewers who are watching this show, I want you to understand, when you see men on television, especially black men on television, Wow. They are not allowed to speak from the heart or they will be fired. Everything you see and they them keep say, that job. everything you see them say will be some shit that they were made to say, which kind of goes sort of like into the topic because I want to talk about the oh, topic when we shit. come back right. and I'm going to introduce my little cousin who in town, him and his homeboy, they moved out here from Chicago and shit. Oh, um, they living in the back of trailers and shit trying to get on. <laughs> They got a Kanye hat on out there in the lobby and shit, but it's all good. <laughs> my cousin got a ponytail. <laughs> D might like him. He got a ponytail, D. Oh, my God. When we come back, he got 5150 continues. You got your old brain. This nigga got a ponytail. Oh, does he have a ponytail? He got that old school ponytail, oh, yeah, I see too. That. There you go. <laughs> We kept the mice away Nowadays niggas too proud to tell where they came from Never been the same I admit I was afraid Son, eyes caught shit You good boys won't be more Tagging the streets Red ICs up in the corner stores Games used to play We used to fight soon Tell your man talk to a girl the next If she like you No response I ain't gon' let it go Like me on the loose leaf Please struggle yes or no Some people asking they pass And they all pretend it's actually about they pass And they don't remember Seems like the hope only for the death then Seems like it's never too late to play with X-Men All the times I was told that I was not grown Moms told me turn on the stove to light a hot coal Yeah Sosa And God You know we had to put it down to give him, right? Gotta yeah, give him a peace of mind Know what I mean? Yeah, TNT Yeah Let's go, come on, yo, when 
a peace of mind, yep. there's a peace of mind yeah. In the streets you find, yes. or at least in time With the seas from crime, that cease to shine There's some pennies for your thoughts like I least your mind Yeah, it life ain't fair, no. I say get the fuck out of here yeah. I've been here and that for a lot of years yeah. That's why I stop in here, yeah. respect is dropping here yeah. I miss some old school cast that's now not in here yeah. Back to the phase of reasonable doubt days yes. Now it's braids and bays, you spray for pain To worry that you can for what you want The ones who rejoiced after you passed That's the ones you want When KRS was one, your life cost a lesser than guns No standing up to fight, it was best to run We the best to come, we ain't forgetting about the past When we go, ain't no one forgetting about our ass See the sea, trust never turns Overlooking the earth, I found God And I ain't looking at church so the Trust never turns Overlooking the earth, I found God God and I am looking to church. TNT, trust that was hers. So sweet, I could tell you. God, yeah. This is. Slim Biggins, or you could call me Ron Ladies. The wall looking special, me I'm fresh to death. You know how I pimp do. Let's get to this is where I carve my issues. Uh-huh. You ain't even gotta be a hoe for me to pimp you. I can get on my match shit, reincarnate gold. You uh-huh. can get some gangster shit. I pawn my pistol. However you want it, overhand a fistful. Seems like bounce only way I can reach you. Pulling on the dreams, but that's so wishful. Need your head cone, someone to call you a bitch too. Not saying you all bitches, that's not the issue. If you know you ain't, you know you ain't, this shouldn't offend you. My cup runneth over, overflowing with pimp juice. And you should be a pip in everything that you went to. I practice what I preach, you hear the beat that I rap on. It's the return of the Mac, may take a while for you to catch on. Fuck the world, literally. I move bitches seriously. Life is a disease, I help them figure out the remedy. How to get money, how to quickly spot your enemies. A whole lot of other shit, but that they remember. Me. But I guess you never knew. As I said, a story told. Maybe now I got the flow. Cause I know it from the start. Maybe when you broke my heart, that I had a dumb name. I'm sure you did. The days another obstacle slow me down but never stop i would not pause a break every setback just called another test of fate give it up to god move aside and stay out the way if you listen close you can almost hear the spirit say keep your head up because tomorrow is another day homie hit me on the hip and said he going through some things the words that he spoke painted a picture of familiar pain sort of like my yesterday all i could say was pray cross your heart and live the day let the signs lead the way stay
Oh, you back? Yeah, let's go. What up, nigga? All right. Go. 5150 show, full full effect. I got my little cousin right here, Chris. What's up? From Chicago. Up, this nigga up, got the up. ponytail cracking uh-huh. in this motherfucker. Oh, yeah. LA with it. They like that. Darlene's tight, man. He got his homeboy with him. What up, what up, what up? I'm Keenan, Keenan Davis. Keenan Davis got on his Bobby Glanton Smith hat in this motherfucker. <laughs> Bobby going through the closet now. I know that nigga ain't got my hat. Oh my God. That's my after the basketball game against Zohat. Oh my God. Candyman, Candyman, Candyman. <laughs> so we're going to get into the topic, but I just want to uh-huh. interview my little cousin and his guy. Uh-huh. How long y'all been out here? He been out for about four years. I've been out for about three weeks. Wow. Three weeks. Yeah, there y'all you go. Loan, what y'all on out here? Trying to make it, man. Trying to make it happen. Trying that's to be like up, you, man. man. Yeah. Trying to get something started from the ground. Trying to oh, make this That's shit what's work. up, man. Well, shit, yeah. you can do whatever you want to do out here in this town. That's right. Appreciate um, it. It's just Appreciate harder it. when you heterosexual. I know, I know that. I know that. If, you, if y'all fuck with them boys, y'all will be on quick, God damn it! I see y'all niggas. Now, wait, are y'all doing music? <laughs> hey, I he do said music. take it Yeah, time. I do music, he do music. Oh, look, he's got a look. Thank he's you, got a look, you. huh, D? Yeah. Oh, stop. D, Corey. get in here, you know, D, fuck. Hey, boy, I, you got a shot. D, fuck honest, with them little young know, boys. Yeah. You got no, a, the I most important play. thing. You got a ponytail. I, 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 I ain't getting that Bruce Jenner <laughs> shit now. Exactly. <laughs> no, we already know you ain't on that shit. <laughs> exactly. You ain't on that shit. Uh, the but chat man, room, but they gonna go in on you, my man. Hey, it's all right. I say I look baby. like a glow stick. Uh huh. <laughs> they called your cousin Baby Easy E. <laughs> that said broke ass outcast. <laughs> 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 no, That's hey, what we they do. We don't get it. Hey, but check it out, doing some real shit. Voice, but your voice sounds like it is, Andre. Andre? Uh-huh. Yeah. I see. I'm right. On some real shit, though, man. <laughs> my Talk, cousin left talking to the bike. On some real shit, my cousin left Chicago when he was like, what, 19, 18? No, I was 30, nigga. 30? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, old, man. He been grinding. He been grinding. Look at him now, man. He I'm doing his fucking thing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so you know what that's what we out here doing. We loaf, living offensive and free. L O A F. You're going to hear it soon. My uh, my, rap, my rap name is Rock Boy Bam. All right, so y'all gonna hear about Did that soon too. Music? I got music. I got music. We we're gonna play. We're gonna play some of your music during the um the break, the little break. Sometime I'm telling oh, you, these so motherfuckers, is, these For motherfuckers so. is critical. For so. Fuck the chat room. They gonna yeah. talk about you anyway. God damn it. That's, <laughs> that's part of that's part of the experience. It is. It's part of the experience. Rejection helps you because if you know you're good, you're good. You ain't got to worry about shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, who cares? But so, this yeah. shit out here in L.A., man, it's a whole lot of motherfuckers trying to do what you do, but it's only one you, and you got to motherfucking stand on it. Mm-hmm. It's only one you. That's one thing I tell all entertainers, especially young entertainers. And if you're not doing you, if you worried about being politically correct, you stopping yourself. Mm-hmm. You shooting your career. Mm-hmm. Be you. Talk about what you've been through. You said a highlighter devil. shirt ass nigga. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, they said he's a hey, Amish. Nigga. <laughs> hey man, I live in LA and I it's summertime, it. so I wore my little pussy ass shirt, man. <laughs> I want to be seen. Fuck y'all. Mm-hmm. What did they say? These niggas named Flim and Flame. Flim and Flame. God damn it. Right, I suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> they go in, man. They I talk about everybody. Know. Already know. Already know. Already know. Like, Corey looks like a Snapchat notification. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> fuck Woo. y'all niggas, man. <laughs> 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 These niggas don't oh, give a fuck. All right. Oh, anyway. Oh, my yeah. God. So, so look, we're going we gonna, to we gonna go into the topic and... Um, you know, we. Yeah, I want y'all to chime in if y'all feel like y'all got something Most to say. Definitely, that's um, right. But Zo, I always let Zo word the shit. Oh man, I got to. I got to pull it up. This, this one kind of slick, right? Yeah, I had to reword it a little bit. This is a very interesting topic. Should there be a oh, black one community one. Yeah. re-entry fee? For bougie black people who smile with white people until they get burned by them. Should there be a fee for black people coming back to our community after they looked down their nose at us and smiled with white folk? 
should we what should we do should we charge them a re-entry mm-hmm. fee mm-hmm. how should blacks deal with blacks who smile with whites mm-hmm. when they come home to us this the truth this the truth let me say this Shit. at the dinner table with family gatherings there's that black who is um in the position mentally where he thinks he's better than everybody else because he works at a law firm mm-hmm. That can or happen he, in any race, but go ahead. Yeah, with, mm-hmm. with, with um, Spanish people, mm-hmm. uh, all the people uh, who've been kissed by the sun. That's what we call them. Wow. So, <laughs> you no, know I'm saying you got the right. brown, you got the black, Asian, you, got the, you, got you got the red, you got the yellow. Mm-hmm. All the people who've been kissed by the sun, you'll have a family member who works directly in corporate America, and he acts as though he's better than everybody at the table. Mm-hmm. But the truth is, you know what I'm saying? They are slaves. I have a family member <laughs> who works in corporate America, and he always has his computer with him Uh-oh. because he has to keep punching in what he's doing all day because there are jobs now where you work out of out, off your computer. Right. The office isn't what it used to be. The right. office now has expanded out. You take it home with you. But right. you have these computers that are like tracking devices, and every 30 minutes he has to do something mm. to show that he's doing something. Mm. In my opinion, that's a form of slavery. Huh. You, you're you not free. You mm-hmm. can't relax like I'm relaxing today. You got to check in with Massa, but you think you better than everybody at the kitchen table. Right. Hey. Ro- scroll this shit back. Yeah. This motherfucker kill <laughs> all <laughs> tears. That's fucked up. Right? What? That nigga say, yeah, Zo, you smile with white Kazar Jew, Dr. G, <laughs> you hypocrite ass nigga. Let me address yo bitch ass clearly. Because nigga, right off the top, we not on the same intellectual level. That's apparent. You ain't even listening to Corey. Corey just told you what it is. Dr. G don't pay no bills. Dr. G don't, I don't answer to Dr. G motherfucker, weak-minded bitch-ass nigga. Yeah, that nigga touched the nerve. At the time. end of the guy, hey, I got to let niggas know, like, mm-hmm. it's motherfuckers out there who be talking shit about Dr. G. Nigga, Dr. G downer than your bitch ass. <laughs> That's the real. Dr. G do more for what I need to get done in our community than your bitch ass. Mm-hmm. So, nigga, I fuck with niggas who fuck with me. Who show respect to me. And Dr. G show more respect than your ho ass. So watch this show for free, you bitch made bitch. Here we go, oh, shoot. Niggas, no, man. I'm just saying, I got to holler at niggas, though. I ain't seen Zo like that in a long time. I got to holler at niggas, though. I think I'm a little These niggas is weak. Right now. Right. No, but, but uh, I'm saying, like, you Tell know. Tell That's him. right, though. The ad, don't let the ass fool you, nigga. Oh, no, I'm shit. saying, I slapped the shit out of one of these niggas' peoples. I right. slapped beat a nigga's ass over this shit. Right, right. So what happens, this is, this is what I'm saying. When you talk about women on television, mm-hmm. you can lose your job. But when you talk about black people on television, there is no fear of losing your job. We see this all the time. As, as I watch a lot of ESPN. I mean, mm-hmm. I don't watch a lot of regular television. Right. And I watch as the, the brothers who have desk jobs at ESPN, they will go in on what black people do. But they will not go in on what white people do. Right. And mm. I, I just don't like when they're allowed to come to the community and present an award. You know what I mean? Right. Mm. Or like they're back right amongst us and we don't even bring up what we saw them do on television. Right. I'm trying to train the the people who will listen, who will watch. Right. What I'm saying is we can't keep giving these people passes after they shit all over us while they're in the company of their boss. Okay, so you just said that you had somebody in your family, though, that, that, that acts like that. Does anybody well, he, ever expect... Now, what, what kind of behavior do you guys give him back? Well, is, there, is there a lack of respect with that, or do you guys just kind of... Well, my mother and other people in the family, they're different than me. So when they see you, they're happy to see you. And when I see him, I'm not necessarily mad to right, see him, but I it, call him on his shit because so, I don't think he has what it takes to even recognize... What you're doing, having to keep pressing that button every 30 minutes, oh, that you pick, checking yeah. in. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. And ain't nothing wrong with having a job right. that you got to check in because you're going to have a boss a lot of times. You know what I'm saying? Right. But don't come around this motherfucker acting like you better than everybody. 
But at that point, too, isn't it in a form? Of, it, it is a form of disrespect as well, right? I mean, he's supposed to be there with the family, having a good time. Well, you know, people would talk about, oh, he too ghetto and all that shit. And I just don't like the way people who work in in uh, in corporate America. Mm-hmm. You can't use like, oh, he too ghetto around me without me saying something. I'll be mm. like, what do you mean ghetto? Yeah, what do you mean? Right. What do you right. mean by that? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because ghetto is looked at as something negative, and it's really not. He's it's never state said of mind. anything, right? He's never. Yeah, he, yeah. Oh. he's called me ghetto. What? And I I agree with him. I am ghetto, but not the way he mean it. That's uh-huh. what I'm trying to say. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Like people think if you say you ghetto, that's something bad. Being ghetto is not bad. Right. Um. Being mischievous is bad. Right, <laughs> you know what I mean? right, right, right. right. Being, being dis, dishonorable, mm-hmm, you know what I mean? Being mm-hmm. a bully is bad, you know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Being ghetto ain't bad. I'm from the motherfucking project. Right. And I'll say that in front of anybody. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So when people are ashamed that they are not from um, Beverly Hills, this is all programmed into the mind of people, and I'm trying to reprogram that so you can stop being ashamed of who you are, where you're from, and how you got here. Right. Because that's everything that matters anyway. Mm-hmm. So do you I, think climbing the ladder of success makes it difficult for you to live your truth and tell your truth? Yeah, if you're trying to climb the ladder ladder of success um, in corporate America. My little cousin, how did he get on the 5150 show? It started with hard work I put in. But it also started with hard work he put in right. because he's here. Right. It's not... It's not a easy thing to pack up and leave everything you know. Right. To go to another city. That's why I salute so many people who bold enough to do it. Mm-hmm. It's really, to be honest, most people don't have the courage to do it. That's right. There's a lot of people not living their dream or what they wanted to do. But I always tell people, you better when you at rock bottom. When you mm-hmm. motherfucking, when you don't have that nest to cr- climb back in. Hungrier. Yeah. More motivated. Because I'm not focused. gonna fall off. You could put me in the motherfucking middle of um Russian um um mountain somewhere. I'm gonna yeah. find my way. I'm cut like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. And I think more people are cut like that. They're just programmed to think you're not supposed to leave the nest. You better stay with what's working for you. What's comfortable, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You got you got you gotta go out here and you gotta motherfucking be bold enough to explore this world because it's all yours. Yeah. Yeah. The only people standing in your way, for real, are the people that stood in everybody's way. It's just people are scared to say it. The history of Caucasian people in America needs to be um, a television show that's on nowadays. Mm. Everybody's scared to say that. The history of Caucasian people in America. This needs to be a television show. This right here. The history of Caucasian people in America needs to be a TV show. That's the title, right. That's the title of it. It's not even something you think of because you're you programmed think, wait, not wait, wait, to think wait, wait, that wait, wait, way. Wait, wait, it wait. is happening. We're living in it. That's the funniest the thing. Motherfuckers you're not allowed to say it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, 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 think yeah, yeah. about the history right. of scared. Caucasian people in North America. They, 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 no, no, no. Mm-hmm. Why would they do that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it would show you a lot about who's standing in your way. Listen, they just took Jim Crow laws and slavery the way it's called out of the fucking textbooks in texas right they're not about telling the motherfucking truth mm. right to do a the history yeah. of caucasians in america tv show <laughs> nigga, that's counterproductive for them well that's what i want to do and every time i say it people look at me the same way mm-hmm. y'all looking at me in this room <laughs> <laughs> because it's just something people feel like oh they're not gonna let you do that mm. Well, I don't need them to let me do that. I got my own venue right here. Mm-hmm. What we got? We got over 2 million people who watch. Mm-hmm. When right. I get my paper together, I'm going to put together a internet series. And it's not going to be lies. I don't want to lie on anybody. Mm-hmm. I just want to talk about what has happened um, as far as it goes with the history of Caucasian people in America. Because a lot of people just don't look at it that way. How right. They're, you- all, they're all, shh. But go there. right, like, that's well, what people do. Right, but if it, but if you want to make change and you happen to be Caucasian as well, why wouldn't you want to expose that and hear it? I know it's over with and everything that time, but it isn't done with. It's the same. Look, did you hear? It's that, happening today. Did you hear that? Um, <laughs> that Donald Trump, after all that, 
is actually rising in the polls. And so when they ran into George Lopez, they asked him, like, what do you think of that? And he goes, do, they asked him, do you think he has a chance to win? And he goes, hell yeah. You know how many racists we have in this country? Hell yeah. Well, that's what's scary and unfortunate. Yeah, he That he down. actually started yeah. rising up the ladder right up there with Jeb Bush because, and George Lopez said, there you go. See, so just when you thought he was going to fall off because he made that comment, nope, it actually rose and he's actually getting money. Just like those guys, when they kill young blacks and all those, they get money, all that money donated to their books in jail. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those are those same people. Those they people don't the have the numbers. What they do, they have the media power. That's why that person said, oh, it's he's risen in popularity. But really, he hasn't. Yeah. Because um, in this country, it's not more whites than everybody else. No. <laughs> it's no. just not. Right. It's just they have all right. the money. Mm -hmm. And, and the they have, have all the money. How? That. This is what needs to be shown to the, mm -hmm. to the world on television. Mm -hmm. right. How are Caucasian people so rich? If this is shown, everybody will stop what they're doing. And be like, wow, Whoa. I've been following Rebecca the wrong fucking program. The, show you. Yeah, These uh -huh. motherfuckers are some unfair, crooked motherfuckers. Like, How wow. they got so much wealth in this country. Where exactly so, Corey, come from? Yeah. In, in accordance with the topic, how do we accept our people back who've been doing business with them in a shady way? You know how you said you had that conversation with Tyler Perry? And you said, you don't agree with all the shit he do, but the way you had that conversation with him, it was mano y mano, it was man to man, and there was a, a border, a boundary, and there was some respect. If you're not doing business with white folk like that, and you kowtowing and boot licking and, and jumping through hoops and smiling and skinning and grinning with them, and then at the same time looking down your nose at your people, and maybe even blocking your people from coming up and getting in, how do we then reaccept those people when they eventually get booted out of those situations? Because a lot of times those situations ain't permanent. You know that, right? When they get booted out and then they got to come back home to the people that they was trying to shut out, how do we reintegrate them into our movement? This is how you always break the ice moving forward. You have to talk about it. We have become so punked by the people in power, we are scared to say things that are obvious. Wow. Mm -hmm. If you don't talk about it, you are basically letting everything go to the point where you'll take the young. They watch television, and a lot of how they get down is what they see on television. You see what that, I'm saying? Those are the rules, yeah, yeah. So when most of the men on television are gay, like the announcers on CNN <laughs> most news announcers that are black here we go are gay men <laughs> I mean Zo what do you think about that I'm asking you to be honest I don't even think about it like it's rare that are I you even saying literally or just no, like, I, I, think I, about I understand you saying... the question right. that Corey is posing right. I'm saying I don't even think in terms of their sexuality like, if I turn on the channel and I'm looking at the news, like, if, if Don Lemon never said nothing, I wouldn't even associate nothing to him. Well, this is how they're winning. Because if you're a man mm -hmm. and you hear Don Lemon talk, you're going to be like, what's wrong with him? Yeah. Why is he like that? He's moist. But because there's so many of them that are moist, it's like, now, yeah, it's nothing to you. Right. It's nothing. It's just like if people were allowed to um, hit women like that like that guy that everybody's talking about on the news. Oh, yeah. If it's done a lot, after a while you become numb to it. That's why what happened in South Carolina, what happened in Baltimore, they're trying to flood the news to this, with this shit so you become numb to it. So you don't even think about it no more when there's an uprising. You're like, oh, they they rising up again. Because they want you to be mm. numb to certain shit. I'm not numb to it. Right. I know what happened in, um, what what was that in um, 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 South Carolina? Mm -hmm. I'm talking about what happened out there in St. Louis. Ferguson, New York. Ferguson, New York. Ferguson, New York. Speak on that all, this stuff, all this stuff is very significant in the history of the world. 
but they're trying to just downplay it and show it in a way on the news where you can see it and you're not shocked no more. You look past it, mm -hmm. but it's not nothing to look past. Mm. When you see men like Don Lemon representing black men on television, it's really an alarming thing. I want everybody to watch CNN News and tell me who do you think is heterosexual out of all their black newscasters. And some people say, why do it matter if they gay? It matters if they gay. Because if the man who's telling my news is pushing up in boo-boo holes of other men, that is something that I feel like is a problem. His point of view is not my point of view. You know what I'm saying? But when, they're not giving their, their personal take on things. They're actually reporting. In other words, they're not allowed Don to. Don Lemon gives his personal take all the time. So what Charles Barkley gives his personal take all the time. And it's all negative stuff toward black people. I have not heard them say nothing negative toward white people. So what if mm. they say what you saying right now is hate speech? Well, people can come up with their opinion about whatever. I don't think I'm speaking on hate. I think I'm speaking on what's obvious. And a lot of times when you speak on what's obvious, people say you hate. They say you hate. So is there anybody out there that you say uh, in your mind that is doing a decent job at representing like a real black man in America who's They're working like that. They're not allowed like to be there? on television. So They're there's not no allowed one. to be in Hollywood. So there's nobody. Even the, let me tell you something about this rap game. Mm -hmm. That thing that happened with Tiger does not surprise me mm. because the truth is, if you're a homosexual, you have a better chance of breaking out in the rap game. Because it's their business. It's show business. If you're a heterosexual, you're playing from way back. It's hard to make it as a heterosexual anything but in this world, especially black. So all those guys, when you find out they sending pictures to uh, men and right. all that, it's because that's what the industry is. Right. But you, you also have to remember, too, stereotypical thinking is part of our problem as well. What do you mean? A lot of people don't know, and Michael Sam brought this out, a lot of people don't know that the areas of America that are the most masculine mm. tend to be the most gay. Football, because he was going to out a gang of football motherfuckers that are gay that kept it quiet. Wrestling. What uh, is wrestling? Hip hop. That's not even real. I'm just talking about no, the, the super... Hyper, it's called hyper masculinity. It's like niggas are so masculine, they're overcompensating for the inner fag or uh, homo. I don't think so. Them. I think because in America, especially when motherfuckers broke the hood, the vario, is that what it's called? <laughs> yep. Wherever there's broke people, chances are there's fatherless homes. Because the system is set up where if you can't afford to pay this, your whole family is going to get broke apart. Child support, uh, alimony. Motherfuckers who broke ain't got no money to be paying this, that, and the other just because they had a baby. So you got a whole hood brought up by all women. That's what's happening, in my opinion, with a lot of the motherfucking neighborhoods in America. You got, you got women trying to do the job of a man, in fact, saying you don't need a man. Hmm. And we all know. It can't be that way. If you don't have men present in the homes, right. you're going to have a whole bunch of Michael Sams. Because women fuck with who they like, not fuck who's morally um, strong. They, they fuck with who they like. So if you got the women brought up without a father in the house saying, listen, you don't need to mess with that young man because he got a ponytail. <laughs> I'm just saying, mm -hmm. if, you got, if you ain't got a man in the house with his point of view, you got young guys growing up thinking like they mama. I'm right. going to go to the club and get the drunk. The levels are off, oh, right? Wow. It's not. Real, man. And I think wow. they're getting, like you said, they're getting too comfortable. I think they're, like you said, they're leaning towards that. I'm not putting anything off on gays or anything like that. But at the same time, I see kind of where you're coming from in that take where people are more comfortable with someone like that because it doesn't feel threatened. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like he's not strong. He's not manly. Maybe he's not going to start an argument with me. It's not, you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's a little on the. What is he's gonna be? He gonna be phony and go along with what you say? Because I grew up in that last generation 
or there was men who would be like, boy, if you don't sit your ass exactly. down, take that and shit off. not afraid for anybody else to see that you or know hear what I'm that. Saying? Or, yes, right. yes. Nowadays, you can't even whip a Now, kid. if you, you even talk like that, you're a villain. So they so probably got laws. If you whoop your kid ass, you go to jail. They do. They got yeah. laws. Speaking of laws, I got something to say about this tiger Talk thing. Talking to the mic. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, so. Uh, so if she was 18, nobody want to say shit. Right. And you she's 17. About, you about you the, the girl? Tiger. Yeah. Oh, uh-huh. What, the Kardashian you know, girl? Yeah. She's 17, right? She's 17. She's right. And the motherfuckers that's accusing yeah. him then probably didn't fuck 13-year-olds and shit. And you 14. never know. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, shit right. crazy. Mm-hmm. It's like... Can you legally fuck a girl that's 17? In Europe, there's places. You know. It's statutory. Well, it's statutory. So, like, the parents got to have consent or some shit like the that. parent got to have. Yeah. So a pa- a, 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 let, me, let me make sure I got this right. This is crazy. The parents can give consent to fuck an underage girl. You can fuck her. Yep. Wow. Is that true? I don't know. I think exactly. so. <laughs> I don't know exactly. <laughs> is that true? That's crazy. Yeah. Straight up. Yeah, yeah. The where, whole, do they, where do they do that? The, well, I'm just saying. I California. know a guy who married. Do, that's legal here. Yeah, in the United States. I know a guy who married a girl. He was every bit of twenty nine, and the girl was sixteen. Mm-hmm. He married her because the parents gave consent. The parent uh, gave consent. Said Texas, yeah, in Texas, Texas. So as long as you got the money to pay the parents, you can fuck their kid. Yeah, that's God. basically what the law yeah. say. Am I right? Starting seventeen. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. Crazy. Wow, sixteen-year-old in Georgia. But they tripping. But okay. but here's the main thing we was talking about. Um, Not sure. Look, look, check it out. I want to ask you something. So, what do you think about Tiger sending pictures to some guy, but acting like it was an accident? Do you Supposedly, think it was an accident? Because we don't know if it was even sent. To I that mean, I don't person. think it was an accident. I think with the person that he is and with the industry that he's in, all of that shit is like done on. Like, I mean, things are accidents, but I think the type of person that he is and the things that he's doing, like that, sending the picture like that. Being who he is, I feel like that shit, you don't make no accident like that. That's, what That's I'm my opinion. Though, when you, know you hear what I mean? it, it sounds like bullshit. It sounds stupid. Not to me. I mean, I, I don't think so. When I you heard think the somebody story, can accidentally send a picture? No, no, no. They never said it was accident. He admitted that, no he, admitted oh. that he sent <laughs> naked pictures of himself, but to someone else. Like, in other words, he didn't want to say what girl could have been his ex. I don't so, know. They're not saying he don't want to put that person out there yet. But The whole point I'm making is he admitted he sent the picture out, but he said, I sent the pictures to girls. And he's saying that this story is fabricated with this transgender transgender person. So, so we don't. He, know. So it's not a real story so at that's all. That's what he's. That's so what, what he's saying. saying is he did not send a picture to, to this that person. He's not doing that right. Because that whole, that's easy to find out. Right. That's when that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to break that down because the other people are saying that it had, that they have some kind of uh, proof. Let me ask the demo this question. Evidence. So do you think with the advancement of technology that it's getting more and more difficult? To tell the difference. What? Oh, because they can fabricate that. I the hear what you're saying. Transgender motherfuckers. That shit he's was claiming on, that it was set up. That, that somebody else was on Time. Was it, it was Who on knows? the cover of Time magazine. Transgender. That's Hold a whole other movie. I don't understand. Are Technology, you... surgeries, uh, all of the shit they do to transform themselves into something else. Do you think it's getting more difficult to tell the difference? Well, look at even the so-called real Hell women don't even look like real women. Motherfucking like, no. When I'm in the presence of a man, <laughs> I know it. Here we go again with Bobby. <laughs> remember what he told you, Bobby? Even when you get up on You remember what you told Bobby? How you going to know? That pissed Bobby off. What? What did I tell him? When you it. was like. Come on in, dude. The one that we set Corey up with last night. Not really. Oh, shit. <laughs> when you was like. I'm gonna find somebody and set no, you up. No, we're gonna bring the, it. We're gonna bring. He was like, "Don't future. set me up with no He's like, training." Like, no, I would know Don't a ever training. Don't set me up with a training. This is what you I'm saying. You, my friend. This now, is what I'm, I'm saying. disappointed because you tried to set me up with a training. training. If somebody is a man, remember that. <laughs> okay, if you let me finish saying what I'm saying, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. then I, 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 I'll make the point. Okay. If you, if somebody is is male, I believe that before they get naked, I'm gonna realize. <laughs> It's a man. Now, if you so cold, will you slick me into it and we in the room or some shit? <laughs> slick me into it. No, that's what I'm saying. If it if it's a man out here who put together so raw. Because they got him. That I'm up on this motherfucker and I can't tell you a man, we going to fight. You know. <laughs> we going to fight once Straight I up. realize <laughs> you, you bullshitting with me. You playing with me, motherfucker. Now, I just can't, I, I don't know too many motherfuckers who can pull that. Because I live in Hollywood, 
And I see some of these motherfuckers who look exactly like women. But when I get up on them motherfuckers, I be like, oh, that's a nigga right there. <laughs> I have to pass by Santa Monica all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. These motherfuckers got asses like women because they go get the Because even the girls got them, right, right. But when you look at that motherfucker, you be like, oh, what hell, part, dog, like, that's a man. And I'm what part is neck. still man when you right. look at him real close? The presence of a man. That's what I call Ooh. it. I know when I'm in the presence of a man. <laughs> Now, if you a motherfucker out here who think you can fool a motherfucker, then play them games with the streets. But I'm just telling you. <laughs> Somebody said to, the jawline can't lie. Right. <laughs> no, did you see all that work? Some of them motherfuckers got them big what's ass the hands. All right. No, but what's big the, ass knuckles. But once they start taking all those hormones like homeboy took, who? he... Uh, Jenner. Man, that motherfucker no. jaw look like Spectre Man. But he's still going through that whole thing. I've that seen motherfucker look like he so eat nails I'm with like, that jaw. Yeah, I've seen, <laughs> I met oh, some and I'm like, whoa. Try that bullshit. That Caitlyn Jenner shit with a right. motherfucker who ain't about that game. And nowadays, game. The, the so-called real women are doing so much crap to themselves that even that has you question, God damn, what does she really look mm. like? That is so over the top. Too much. I Way watch Maury's show. Well, he used to Boy, have all the motherfuckers lined up. Yeah. Motherfuckers like, is this a man? Nigga, if I got to guess if you're a man, I ain't <laughs> right. fucking with you. <laughs> yeah, they would have like if a beauty pageant. If I'm not sure, I, I just feel like, look. I Even be, if you're a woman, if I, I got to guess. <laughs> I could be wrong, man. But right. I'm just telling you, man, I feel like when I'm up on a woman, I know I'm up on a woman. Mm-hmm. I look him up and down and I can tell. If a man that motherfucker cold with his surgeries and shit, well, he get me to the point where I can't tell until we naked. We going to be some naked fighting motherfuckers. <laughs> Stop it. Motherfucker. Oh we going to be. We gonna, and that's a nightmare fighting a man naked. Why, why do people He's think this conversation way. is offensive? I don't give a fuck why they think it's but offensive. But I'm saying, why, why can't this? this I is think America. there's a lot of people who are offended by this conversation but won't admit they are offended by it. I don't people know. People who are homosexual, undercover. What right. you say, youngster? I think it's like today in these days, everybody got free speech and everybody's so creative and shit. And like we let everybody just speak their mind to the point where every opinion is supposed to be right. So people feel offended mm-hmm. when people like, They're I mean, wrong is that. wrong. Right is right, right. And that shit still applies. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And the people's opinions still a, still matter, too. But everybody shouldn't be able to put every opinion on a pedestal. You know I mean, what I mean? Like an opinion is an opinion. And I, mean, I, don't, I don't have to like some shit. I tell you that about mine. Yeah. Exactly. My opinion you know? can be full of shit to people. I'm not mad at you, but I do want to tell you. If you a nigga who done had that dick taped down to the point where I can't see it, <laughs> we naked in bed. It's a wrap. Damn it. We fighting, and we are not fighting fisticuffs. <laughs> shit flying your way, nigga. I'm trying to injure you Man. so that when you in the hospital fucked up, I can be like, he pulled that bullshit on me. Sometimes you, know, you gotta offend people for the cause. You know, what's crazy? for for many many years, hate speech was protected under the Constitution. You cannot say you go back and you look at those motherfucking governors. There was a time in Indiana where their whole damn their whole government damn near was infiltrated by the Klan. The American government was infiltrated by the Klan, and they used the First Amendment. To say all manner of foul shit about blacks, Mm. about Jews, Mm. about whoever the fuck they wanted to talk about. And it was all protected under the First Amendment. It's not hate speech when you're talking about a man who's dressed like a woman trying to get with a man because... His dress game is so and cold. He's not being honest a man up can't front. tell it's a it's another man. That's not hate. That's a nigga bullshit. And he <laughs> deserved to get stomped the fuck out for playing with somebody like right, that. That's, but the, that's the key word. Playing with somebody. See, that's somebody. the thing. <laughs> Why, that's the thing. Playing. Why would somebody want to do be fo- you know phony and fake their sexuality? That's not right. That's not and good. get a heterosexual man to the point where he in bed with you. And then, and what you going to say at the last minute? That ain't, that ain't no shit you trick somebody Yeah, about, you don't play you know around with that. Wait, what you going to say at the know. last minute? Oh, well, see, uh, it's about to be some shit. <laughs> wow. And any man who in court, you talk about how they sent, what's old boy who, uh, you know they send these racist motherfuckers money when they get caught up? If it was a man on TV who was in court because he killed a motherfucker who act like he was a woman and turned out to be a man, I'll send him some money. 
That's I'll be true. like that motherfucker had that coming. I don't, but I don't know, man. I'm real touchy Philly. I got. I, I would know. You know, you looking for them lips. You looking for them lips. Hey, man. You looking for them lips. You know what I'm saying? But if you do, you see this thing. You want them? You looking for them lips? You know, if you just fill a little hole and that motherfucker real, you know, I don't know, man. You should know. No, what he's saying is, what he's saying is, he is trying to touch the pussy. Exactly, man. Right. If you're just feeling a hole, you one hole, if and you, you feel some a dust cake, smooth, start yeah, stoping that motherfucker. But <laughs> what, if it, what if he's had the operation? That's what I'm saying. So. If you feel some duct tape, start stomping. <laughs> start stomping that motherfucker. Man, but look, if they had an operation, look, Darlene, it's, it's guys like me who don't know. What is the operation? What they can create a vagina? Right. Down there? We already told you this before, right? Where they can actually remove it. So they actually so remove it. What it look like? Do it look real? Who That's what they it? say. Can we get some pictures of uh, yeah. uh of a surgery made vagina? I know that motherfucker ain't gonna look mm. right. That motherfucker gonna look like some balls folded no, up. No, but see the thing is, is, they've had the surgery done, and also they've taken so many <laughs> hormones that it actually changes a male's. To you female. gonna have some hormones in that motherfucking hospital. No, but have you seen that? Have you even seen his changes? What's his name, Bruce? The voice changes. They start. You start stop growing hair. So do they have surgery for your knuckles and that's elbows, crazy. like shoulders so and shit? Shoulders. And Chaz, shit. Shoulders have you are... seen Chaz Bono? That's Cher's old daughter, who used to be used to be daughter. Now it's a boy. Took the other hormones to make it grow everything with a man, like a man. Hair well, on the, the knuckles. Thing. That's hair on the face, hair on the back, hair on the chest. They gave like her some balls and a, and, a, and a penis. No, but she wants to. She wants to. Uh, I think she had the, this. Let yeah. me tell you something. But I could still. I could still. Fu- I could fuck a dyke bitch. I could fuck them butchy bitches go. who got overalls on and shit. I, I can too. pull it. I agree. I, I, I'm I agree. a man. If you got a vagina, goddammit. But they ain't gonna want you. That's inserted. the thing. They gross out by that. They gross <laughs> they out act by like they don't want you. I got paper. Them hoes don't fuck. No, hey. but then she's not. But that's not full. A full grown. Have you ever bald, been with Dyke? I've Lesbian. been with Dykes. They got the best pussy in the I'm world. I'm talking about the butch one. The I'm talking about the, the butchy butch ones. Butch that pussy be brand new. Dude. <laughs> Them real butch bitches, that pussy be like, God damn, this pussy still got the wrapper on it. Oh, my Lord. That pussy be brand new. Now, it smell like hooper feet. God damn it. But, you got to fuck up with they leg down. You ever did that shit? Just had a bitch lay flat and put your dick in on top of them. Stop. I'm Don't have no this. dyke bitch feet in there. That ain't, that ain't the business right there. Hooper feet? That bitch that bitch feet look like goddammit Montumbo. <laughs> oh, shit. Anyway. That's but what I'm saying <laughs> is, them dyke hoes pussy don't be blew out. They pussy still be intact. Hey, man, y'all niggas don't worry about if we ain't talking, Dyke's man. Brand new pussy. This ain't our motherfucking show. We in a seat right here. Don't even look at it. They go uh, talk shit. That's what they got. Hey, nasty niggas, they, man. They young. Like, I got to talk about young shit with them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, since you've been to L.A., do you, do you have a lady? Do you have a girlfriend? Yeah. Okay. Oh. So, is she, is Not she, in she, L.A. But she's still oh. in Chicago. Yeah. So you see these niggas still young. They doing the, he doing yeah. the long distance relationship shit. Wow, that's right. Look at How that. old are you again, cuz? 24. 24 years mm. old. You motherfuckers are evil. You know what's <laughs> happening in Chicago. <laughs> what? Straight up. Don't act like you don't know. <laughs> I'm fucking with him. Yeah. I said, shut your Undertaker hat ass up. Damn, that's <laughs> fucked up. Turn up. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck y'all, Fuck nigga, y'all man. Y'all, man. No, Who but said li- listen, Chris. Yeah. I used to do a long distance relationship, and you How know that work. That was genuine love between both of us. But sometimes when you're away from somebody, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Um, you grow distant, especially as you experience other things. I'm not saying that's what's gonna happen with you, but what I'm saying is. That's all part of being bold enough to to walk away. I know some niggas who never left home because they were scared to leave their girl. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Mm-hmm. They mm-hmm. never left Chicago and wound up losing her anyway. I don't want to leave my mama, man. Huh? Yeah. I don't want to leave my mama. You ain't want to leave your mama. So <laughs> yeah. That's what's real. Yeah. That's what's real. It's crazy to think, really, in my mind. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I know his mama as a young girl. She not no young girl no more. But you know, this is my mother's brother. Mm. Wait a minute. Mm-hmm. My mother's brother, daughter, son. Got it. 
You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So his daughter, his mother is around my age. And all I can think of is my little cousin, Danielle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so when I see you, it's crazy to think that you come from her. Right. I'm like, damn, we old in a motherfucker now. Because this motherfucker 24. Wow. You see what I'm saying? I remember when you was big as this cup. Man, man, I gotta be a representative. <laughs> rep I remember when he first came out, I went to go see him. He was sitting there. Yeah, I gotta know? be a representation of you, man. You yeah, know? you know what I'm saying? Oh my god! <laughs> so yeah. it's my duty as big cousin to make sure I use my contacts or whatever to try to to help him to just to put him. This is how you do oh, it. Oh, that's just a given. Yeah, that's this just is how you given. do it. You put your Trust people me. in the place to be. Mm -hmm. And you let them get it from there. You put them in position, mm -hmm. right? When I was right. on tour with um, um, Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart wasn't like, "Oh, this is Corey Holcomb, politic and woo 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 for me." He just opened the door, and once I got in there, I thing, was like, right. "Shit, what's thing. up?" I know how to take it from there, and that's what I tell y'all. When this town is not all this shit, we all one day we ain't gonna be shit. No matter how high you get, you're going to come down. You understand that. Right. But while you here, motherfucker, don't be shy. Straight Go up. get it. Right. Straight up. Go get it. The motherfuckers in the chat room, Gosh. most of them might not mean no harm, but it's natural for us to talk shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We signify. Yeah. Well. That shit, seriously. But I tell <laughs> the motherfuckers in the chat room who send their music, everybody on Twitter <laughs> who be like, Corey, play this. I got to start taking that shit more seriously. It's just... The, the website to send that music to is what? What is it, Chris? See yeah, a lot of people be asking for that email. We got to say that fifty one fifty show at Gmail. At Gmail. How do they? And how do they get on the chat room? They just sign in. Sign in on Ustream. Go to Ustream through their Facebook. Yeah. Sign in through, through your it, Facebook and Twitter name. for the chat room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's 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 for you to go make that happen. I can't walk you through it. Mm-hmm. I would if I had time. You know what I'm saying? I can't walk you no, through it's, it. No, it's, it's, it's Once you get on there, it's actually you just follow the uh, the little commands. It'll tell you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and so you emailing that to him, or you sending him the, yeah. the email address He'll put right it now. up. He's going to put it up. Yeah. But that's And this is y'all time. Mm -hmm. I want y'all to know that. Y'all at that age. Right there, yeah. Well, y'all come out here, man. Y'all got to find a way to pop. Fuck what you see the next motherfucker doing. Right. Fuck the story he got to say about, man. When mama get to talking like yeah. that, be like, yeah, all right, buddy. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. what happened to you, motherfucker. Straight up. Yeah. Got you. You different. You got to motherfucking believe you different. This town is to be conquered. Them Bentleys on that lot are out there because motherfucker supposed to go bound. Straight yeah. up. Put miles on them and get rid of them. Fuck them. They ain't shit. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You can get it, man. You can get it, man. That's real. So we definitely going to play their records. Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. They get it. Yeah, they got to send yeah. it to us. Uh -huh. Hell yeah. Absolutely. Okay. What's y'all single y'all want us to play first when we get it uploaded and everything? Like what's your, what's the one you proud right, well, of? My first single, Rock Boy Bam, is called Dark Nights and Backwoods. Oh, shit. Hey, Keenan Davis, my first single is called You Should Know. All right. And yeah. where can they get it? They can get it on KeenanDavis.com, K-E-E-N-A-N-D-A-V-I-S, music, KeenanDavisMusic.com. Mm -hmm. uh, new videos coming out. Um, new music coming out, everything, man. That's on there, KeenanDavisMusic.com. Go check it out. RockBoyBam.com coming soon. All my videos coming soon. All the music coming soon on SoundCloud and all that. Just keep looking. You got there cameras? Yeah, we got a camera yeah, guy. Yeah. We got a video guy. Got we got all that. We got a... Bless y'all with just on GP. Hey, hey love, 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 love. Uh, so, so, yeah. Um, but back on back on things that we, we, we going at it with. Um I, w I also want all the people to take what I'm saying, not like I'm trying to shoot you down if you work in corporate America. That's definitely not what I'm trying to do. And what I, but what I am trying to do is let you know that their way is not necessarily the right way. Don't think when you see people not doing it the corporate America way, mm -hmm. they fucking up. Because there's other ways to the top. There right. You go. There, right. There you go. You got to look at working in corporate America like selling dope. Mm -hmm. Right. You don't sell dope your whole life. You selling dope to go clean. And sometimes going clean is about getting free. Right. Going straight, getting free. If you spend your whole life just on that hustle, you're going to wake up and find out like, damn, I, I wasted a lot of time. Right. Mm -hmm. I wasted a whole opportunity to flip my whole shit. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> there it is. That's what's up, man. 
So you, you since what about you, um, Kenan? You got What's a girlfriend on? out here? No, no, I do not. I'm single. You're oh, super single. Shit. Yep, single man, single, single ready to mingle. Tell What's up, bitch, LA? Uh, tell the women. What's up? You know what? Tell the bitches where they can find you, my nigga. Tell the bitches where they can find you. We got you little rubbed 50, up on 50 you. bitches who trying to get at you. Yo, all of my women that are really real women. Uh-uh. You can holler me, Keenan Davis Music, at everything. Keenan Davis Music on Instagram, on Twitter, my website. That's my business card. That's my resume. Holler at me, yo. I'm super single. There you single. go. There it is. What Get up? you a nigga with a motherfucking Andre 3000. Get you a nigga with a hat like this, crib. straight up. Right. 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 Single like a loose square. <laughs> <laughs> There's a they ain't lying. Risk. What's up? Uh, Somebody said Corey pants matches Kong. He's single because of that hat. You're right. Damn, Stop they it. seen the Damn, how they Kena seen the won. pants? Y'all some good looking motherfuckers. They said that nigga wearing they a boy George hat. hat. <laughs> Damn, that's, what, that's what's up. Oh, bro, fuck him. That's, that's good. That's good. I like that. <laughs> anyway. Damn. <laughs> shout out to the beautiful. <laughs> shout out to the beautiful Miss Ortiz. Man. Oh, that's yeah. so sweet. Yeah. Thank you. That's nice. Yo, you got you that ponytail. Well, hey, that ponytail going to get worked. I'm her biggest fan. <laughs> that's right. There you go. He knows what's up. He recognize. I know what's up. Shoot. Start telling uh, bitches you Dominican. No, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> 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 You're so stupid. No, he got a girl and he don't cheat. That's right. <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Stop putting that on him too anyway. Oh. Not at all, man. Oh my gosh. You got that all over me. I hope that was just water. water. Okay, thank goodness. It ain't seven up. Do it again. You know what? No. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> stupid. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Anyway. Anyway. So, yeah. what I would like to say is also, Chris um, Chris does graphics. Yeah. And I think he's pretty good. Websites, all types of shit. Mm-hmm. And um, I don't know, I think his shit is set up where you can get at him. Yeah. And we don't plug him that often, but we're going to plug him uh, right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you got some shit Chris, you need done, go. Chris, how they get at you on the breath What's side up? of the game? Come on in here. <laughs> Hotdungeon.com. In <laughs> Hotdungeon.com. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. Uh, just hit me up on Twitter, cpernell45, um, or just hit, uh, hit me on my Gmail, cpernell45 at gmail.com. Oh, there it is. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> there you go. Boom. Darlene. Yeah. Did y'all do y'all little thing where y'all climbed the tower this year? I uh, know that's in September. We did the Hollywood sign. I but I couldn't Hollywood concentrate stuff. yet because my grandmother was already feeling a little ill. So I went out there that oh, night. Oh, right okay. Now. Yeah, but I did it. But in I September, you got coming up where y'all walk up to the top of that round building. Well, you can run if you'd like. It's the tallest building this side of the Sears Tower in um, Chicago. So if you want to do it, I've been trying to get you to do What's it. What's the name of that building? I'm going to do it It's called the year. U.S. Bank Building. The U.S. Bank That's Building in L.A. Stories. That's 75. It's 75. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. 1,500 steps. Yeah. The big building in L.A. to the dumb motherfucker. <laughs> where they filmed uh, Die Hard. It's the only time they open up the building because of security purposes. They don't have it uh, unlocked. They don't have it open. Is that the building they blew up in Independence Day? Uh huh. The very tallest yeah, yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seventy-two stories. She get up there. It's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, gonna yeah. climb it. I would year. be. Yeah. We should do it. Fifty one fifty crew. We have a team. I'm we'll gonna do, do it this year okay. because um, my kid did it. I told you, but when he got to the top, he threw up, and everybody <laughs> saw it on the camera. Did I tell he you this? Up? Yeah, he was like, I was like, come on, one more flight, man. He was just like, he got up there and he was like, put his arms up. They had a camera. He didn't realize that they have a camera on you as you cross the finish line. It's amazing. They put a medal on you and then they film. And he was like, yeah. And then he just ran over to this. And then every, he didn't realize it was being filmed. And everybody, like thousands of people at the bottom that are wait. Oh, my God. They were like, that's throw up for. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he it tossed his cookies at the top did, of the building. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. You got to watch the shoes you wear. And I then you got to be time ready. It. We could do it, Corey. Come I on, I knew we you did it. We should all do this shit. We should. I, I would just love started everything. really trying to go hard today. Now that that Black Jesus shit done, yeah. and um, I'm telling you, man. Even though I, I I gained some weight, most motherfuckers just are naturally little motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. I I'm, I what went to mean? the basketball court the other day, and I still was housing them motherfuckers. Like Zo, I'm serious. When you mm-hmm. and Zo. I mean, when you and Bobby played basketball, y'all know y'all not on my level, right? Man, we were shooting oh, jump oh, shots. Here we go. Maybe. Okay, so go. you saying you got more game than that. Of course. Come on, are we going to have a re-challenge, a challenge? I challenge, though. We're going to play we the 10. We were shooting jump shots. I'm going to give you five points. 
I don't need Damn. a head start. And you, I'd, you like, don't to need see, a head I'd start, like to see a swim competition oh. with two brothers. Shit, I can't swim that long. <laughs> I thought you said you, you can't, can't swim that <laughs> You can't this nigga's swim. body ain't buoyant. I can swim. <laughs> I, I think can't it's buoyant. Huh? I can't swim laps. Why not? Because I get straight. tired. <laughs> Wait a minute. Who the fuck? Everybody out there who know about swimming knows swimming laps is not no easy shit I to know, do. but one lap, it's if we not. had a competition with you guys in it and said go in an Olympic-sized pool. I don't know about yeah, swimming laps. Sorry. I'm not confident. I can swim one lap, and then I need to rest. <laughs> For how long? I'm talking about in an Olympic-sized pool. Oh, make it right. to the other side. Okay. No, when I, by the time I get to the end, I'm tired. Okay. When it comes to, to, to swimming. Okay, because I have a pool ain't for easy. you guys to do it. I know. <laughs> that shit not. ain't easy. If I was trapped in the ocean... I dog paddle till I say fuck. You got an Olympic size <laughs> pool? Yes. As a matter of fact, I was just going to say that I've been working with a friend of mine, Curtis. Hey, Curtis. Um, but we did get the um, we did get the pass from the city. So we're going to, if you live in the mid-city area, because I'm promoting Zoe's this. Zoe's a shark. Uh, it's going to be all free. We got brand new spin bikes. 32 have never been used before. Olympic yeah. size pool and a track at LA High. And we're going to start um, a I'm going to start bringing people and recruiting people so they can work out for free. Another thing about Darlene, when I went to her spin class, you never believe the endurance she has. What? They go you hard. That bike shit, she take it for granted, but if you ain't been riding a bike and you try to keep up with her, you be like, damn, I <laughs> shit. Well, it would have helped if Corey did it without the toothpick in his mouth. He did a whole entire 45 minutes cool with hoes. a toothpick in his Man. mouth. And it was hilarious. Niggas is going in on I, me right now. They I got show. Swimming against a shark ain't fair. Oh, <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> that's hilarious. But anyway, so yeah. Cause so. y'all ain't somebody athletic, said you just float. Oh, huh? what up? Are you you athletic? Oh man, track out of track school, uh, scholarship, really? football. Really? I don't swim, but I'm athletic. Yeah, oh. I, swim. Like I swim a little bit. I swim a little bit. Sea lion. <laughs> 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 Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> That is too funny. Fuck. Oh, God. Oh, God. God damn. Anyway, I have to let you guys know in about that. Somebody say I picked my hairstyle from the post at the barbershop. Oh, uh, you said number 12. I'm about I'm to cut my, my little bullshit on top off. I'm about to start over and start yeah. wearing the motherfucking. Fade again. Regular, yeah, ball fade. Way that shit out. Yeah. yeah. In Chicago, they call it the BD fade. The BD yeah. fade. Okay. Stop it. Stop. <laughs> I'll get you some cocaine <laughs> lines in that motherfucker. Corey, stop telling us to yield. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hey, no, nah, Zoe, we going to play that basketball game. Me and man, you. Yes. Good, man. You down. got five points yes. up top because you're too little, man. I, I was watching play. you play against Bobby. I'm I know. out of shape. Oh, he was out of shape. Was Is that what it was? Out of shape. <laughs> yeah, we need to see that. Shape. We gotta see that. And Bobby, nigga, Bobby, mm-hmm. not really. That was that's a spry sixty year old nigga. You see that motherfucker hit the ground and bounce right back up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I, I could couldn't. just tip I... on to the basket. You said sixty. Right I, I thought oh, that nigga shit. was about to spray some smoke on your ass. <laughs> 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 on the Godzilla side of the game. I can't. Oh God. Shoot some new points in your eye while you try to shoot. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, anyway yo, that was fun. Aw. Right. Hey, I gotta promote this book, man. Go ahead, Zo. It came out uh July first. It's on Kindle. The relationship dismount, how to stick the landing when exiting a toxic relationship. You can go get the Kindle version right now. The physical version will be delivered to me in two weeks two weeks i'll have the physical version i'll be mailing out all the pre-orders but uh go get that book right now on kindle amazon it's out there you go and y'all and once again i want y'all to promote y'all sites and shit or whatever y'all got going on i know yeah, y'all yeah. trying to get started but if people could hear y'all music anywhere is it somewhere they can go yeah like what i said um keenan davis music.com good looking keenan davis music.com that's on everything soundcloud twitter instagram Keenan Davis Music, K E E N A N, rapper, singer, songwriter, producer, engineer. Check it out, man. It's good music for the soul, straight up. Just remember Rock Boy Bam. My site not up yet. It's rockboybam.com. Just remember Rock Boy Coming Bam. Coming super soon. We're going to get you on point, Joe. Super soon. Yes, We're going to get you on point. All the music done. It's ready for y'all. Just, you just wait. That's your guy. Hey. You've been with him. So you're his I uncle. Know. Right, Yeah. Oh, that's Theo Corey. Oh, Theo. <laughs> 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 I, Theo. I want to promote uh, my book that's coming out when I finish it. 
It's called um, Effectively Fucking More Than One Bitch at a Time. <laughs> oh, it doesn't have, oh, I thought it was a senior one. No, when's that what? one coming out? What's the senior Damn. one? No, you're always talking about the elderly ones. <laughs> no, nah, this is like, the other one I'm making. Effectively fucking. Uh, effectively God. fucking more than one bitch at a time. A lot of guys who fucking more than one girl. Uh, you should read my book and learn how to balance it all out Damn. so both of them hoes feel like they special. Zoe wow. got casted in the lead role of Sharknado. <laughs> oh, my God. It is Shark Week. You know that, Somebody right? I'm wearing a fruit roll-up. King that LO82. That is an Amish rapper. Damn. Damn. They just, they, <laughs> I love it. I love it. They said See, this nigga look like he hatched from a Run DMC egg. Hell I guess yeah. they talking about me. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> But you know what, though? Can I That's tell y'all up. something? <laughs> what up? Them they niggas going to check y'all shit out. Hell yeah. Man. They see us. That's man. all that matter. They, they see Some us. off envy, but some off real support. Because if right. they got you, if I got you on here, I'll fuck with you. Straight up. Right. Right. I'll tell you like that. Right. I, I mean, like, sometimes I take a chance and I done had wild card motherfuckers on. But if I got a motherfucker on my show, I'll fuck with him. Mm-hmm. Real talk. So y'all see what's cracking with me. That's love. Right, we appreciate G, that. What's up? You got something to say before we go, get up out this No, morning? no. Uh-huh. Just uh, still still trying to hang in there, recovering from my family blow. You know, my G-ma, that was my girl. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, Sorry to hit that. Thank you. Yeah, that, that was my mother figure. People Once get some it's lady. in the book. That's what I'm saying. It was pretty deep because of the whole beginning chapter of of me being born. I mean, she took me in or else who knows what would happen because my mom gave me up for adoption. So, mm-hmm. But my dad and my grandma raised me. So anyway, yeah. But she That's passed. Yeah, but I'm all right. I'm getting there. That's right. That's good. Well, all right. So um, <laughs> listen, I also want to say this shit before I go. I'm very proud of the gear that I bought. Oh, that yeah. I've been talking about selling for the longest. Mm-hmm. People have been but hitting me. But I unfortunately ran into a printer who is very talented, but is Hello? a procrastinator. Oh, wow. Sometimes the people who are really artists, they on their time. Mm, yeah. Must be right. a male Pisces. You know what I'm saying? So whatever he well, is, uh-huh. this shit is pissing me off. So tomorrow I'm going to... Do some aggressive shit down there. What so you if I do? go to jail, <laughs> oh, y'all God. know it's about them shirts. Because I done yeah. gave enough time. But I'm very proud of what I, I come up with. And when we get the shit online, I'm sure I'm going to sell all that shit real fast. So yeah. when I do put these shirts out, um, put your order in fast. Because I got mm-hmm. some unique pieces. And I can't, I won't be able to make any more like that fast. Because just making the shirts. Because I don't have just regular t-shirts. I got jerseys mm-hmm. and shit right. like that that right. I had made manufactured right. wow, nice. they're gonna go fast when I got them on so right. Right. I will give everybody the heads up mm-hmm. I hope to have the shit next week to All be right, quite then. honest there you go have it up next Somebody week ready said, to go uh, they hope it ain't the shirt you wearing <laughs> no it's not the shirt I'm wearing <laughs> That's it ain't the shirt I'm wearing. Did y'all see that thing they had with LL Cool J next to Zoe online? That was very that clever. Oh, was by Alex King hilarious. again. They, Alex King. Whoever Hart, that yeah. artist is, there's there's yeah. a few uh-huh. artists that are that are doing drawings. What is his name? Alex. King Alex Hart? King. Yeah. Yeah. There's a there's an artist who follow both of the shows. His name is Marquise. He's out of uh, uh, D.C. He drew the the book cover for my book. Oh, that's what's up. Dude is tight, man. It's a lot of artists that are following our We shows. get motherfuckers shout outs, man. If you yeah. fuck with me, I fuck with you. Word. You know what I'm saying? And the only thing about it on the music side, you know what I'm saying? It'd be hard to get everybody in, but I'm trying to get everybody in who I can get in. Right. Um. So that's what's up, man. So this is the 5150 show this week. I want to hey. say to... Go ahead. What'd you say? Oh, there goes one of them. Homeboy. What is that? Freeze Old love. Old dude looks Zoe like... and you. Bullshit. They going in, nigga. Asleep on me. <laughs> Alex King did that. He did that with me. Why I look like I'm sitting on a nigga lap? <laughs> right. I know you're leaning forward, silly. Uh, what? <laughs> it so... look like I'm sitting on dude lap and he uh, about to bust. You know, <laughs> that's supposed to be freeze. That's supposed oh. to be freeze love. Oh, hell no. Get that bullshit ass homosexual ass bitch. You know what? Shit, nigga. Crazy. They just <laughs> sent this rapper dude right here. Looks like an Amish... <laughs> Rapper Hamburglar. Damn. <laughs> Hamburglar. So, that's going in well, <laughs> club, nigga. You keep yeah. 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 calling that out. Take your hat off, nigga. Yeah. Come, Come on, on. now. <laughs> when they good, so, uh, they not always good. Oh, funny you got to read them. Okay, but be- before we get off air, can we get a peep at the shark? Oh, yeah, not before not we get off air. Oh. Oh. On the court. <laughs> before we Four get off show. air. Four shows in a row, no hat. Damn. More, yeah. more black, uh, more oh, wait, black comedians. More black comedians 
in a in a higher level need to be more supportive, like Steve Harvey. Oh shoot! You say like Steve Harvey, like what? Steve motherfucking Harvey. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah, that's what's support up. my family. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you don't fuck you. Uh-oh, yeah, Steve Harvey, shit. he ain't gonna he'll hate a motherfucker. Yeah. Real talk. <laughs> here we but go. But so so before we get wow. off, you're not oh, gonna take the head off, bro. You gotta say hey, that before you gotta the dunk. show about Remember? the about the Earlier, challenge. Earlier we talked about that. Talked about the challenge, the dunk challenge. You gotta dunk. Chris, if we go to the gym right now and I dunk, you can put it on. Yeah, What's up, nigga? Damn, right now. What's up, nigga? You wanna go to the gym, nigga? Let's go to the gym. Oh, we can go find an outdoor court. I got a ball. You going to dunk outside? I'm going to dunk a basketball outside I today. I got to see that. I want everybody who talked about my shirt to know this. God damn it. You motherfuckers. <laughs> I got the shoes on the back. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was cute. <laughs> and the socks. Nigga. Turn up. Look, he flexible. Damn, Corey. Man, that shit felt kind of weird. Don't hold on <laughs> that shit, though. I lift my leg up kind of high. Guys. Anyway, 5150 show, That's y'all. Right, Thanks for saying we'll fuck with y'all next week, yeah, though. Yeah, we're here once again. <laughs>